Ah, just in time. All right, so I've never seen this game before at all. Frostpunk. I have. I know that there's a Frostpunk 2 announced. I have no. When is that supposed to come out? I have no idea. Claim free buildings. Uh, I don't care. Okay, so I've never played or seen it. Seems like a cool game though. You're gonna die. Endless mode. Uh, a new home. Uh, okay. It's new homes. What we want. Click that. Mega cool. In 1872, a Turkish astronomer presented a paper about the discovery of a new meteor shower to the Academy de Sciences. Academy de Sciences. 2024. It's a cool game. It's kind of appropriate for January, Alone, right? This the still cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old. Stripped of pride and glory. Reminds me of a uh, Snowpiercer. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us. No matter wealth or class. We've lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. What's that movie where winter was chasing people? I think that was uh, the day after tomorrow, where they were running away from the frost. <laughs> the cold is coming. We bid farewell to plenty. And for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, we knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Sick. A Darkest Dungeon City Builder. A new home. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen, solid, and abandoned. Why is no one here and any of our people survive the blizzard? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now, as the world we know it has uh, crumbled. Okay, so this is like an alternate... Is this like an alternate like future or alternate past where there's like a... The world has been frozen, huh? Why go north? Uh, I guess, it would, would that depend on... Uh, I, I don't know if going north would, from London would really help you, right? Because uh, it would still be colder. But I, I guess it depends on the nature of the Ice Age. You know, I don't know why. Like, what caused the Ice Age here? I don't know. Uh, Arhenius, thank you for the 27 months. Thank you very much. Uh, coal in the north, we go south. We need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. Okay. Stockpile some coal. Would you you think you could tell me how to play the game? Is that is that a possibility? <laughs> this is that nah nah. Okay, stockpiles. Um wood crates, steel wreckage, wood crates, steel wreckage. Uh there's a question mark here, tutorial. Uh, okay, move, zoom out. We kind of figured that out on my own. Uh, let's see. Resource management is crucial to the city's survival. You need coal to power the generator. Wood and steel are necessary for construction and research. Steam cores are a key part of the advanced buildings. Raw food is used to prepare food rations. In the game, more resource type may appear. Okay. So we want to find a coal pile. Coal pile. Requires one worker. Uh, so I can... I have four, it looks like I have 
this many okay so i'm putting people i need to put 15 people on the coal pile here uh are we okay so these are the okay so here they go they're going out to it right now apparently all right, okay are there other coal piles wood crates you know what let's put, let's send some people out here for the wood crates as well to do that why not i don't know what that is but sure we got workers do we have more coal more coal we have 20 available all right let's max that out okay so who knows what's in these uh who knows what's in those We've also got engineers. Uh, let's go send some engineers out to get coal. That's all they're fucking good for anyway, right? Is this like Total War? Uh, I just started playing it right now, so I don't know. We have no recent changes to hope and discontent. People are content, okay? This is a bright, cheery game. This is a, you know what? This is exactly, uh, you know, honestly, this is the this is the game I'm honestly in the mood for. I'm going to be fully honest. <laughs> this isn't sponsored. No, this is not a sponsored stream at all. This is honestly the game I'm in the mood for. Okay, so these guys are getting some coal. Um, Stockpiles. So we're uh, gathering coal and wood. Um, okay. Oh, you, okay, so I've got a coal. I've, I've never seen this game before. We've got coal, wood, steel, and a steam core, and we're, we're bringing coal back now. What is uh, 20 degrees Celsius? And, uh, Subbar, hope you and family are doing well. Do you think 2024 will be better than 2023 when it comes to video games? What's, uh, what's 20 degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit anyway? I'm kinda, uh, is there a way to swap it to Fahrenheit? Uh, thank you very much. Uh... uh Dr. Talifer for eight months. Appreciate that. Like 50 degrees? That's not so fucking bad. Come on, you bastards. That's, that's, that's fine. You need the generators off. You need six coal to turn the steam level on. That's fine. Negative four degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, that's pretty cold. Okay, so the generator is rocking. Generator hums with, oh, you pussies. Come on, work harder. <laughs> Forget USA use Fahrenheit. Is that is there actually an option so I can swap it over to Fahrenheit? Generator hums with reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be, care be mindful of coal reserves. Now food, there'll be no city if we starve to death. Secure a way to provide raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare meals. Yeah. Hang on. Let's look at uh, settings. Ah, here we go. Oh, there's no Kelvin. Well, I want to want to see it in Kelvin. <laughs> Where's Kelvin? And right, we'll apply that. Uh, Retro Shinji, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you, Retro Shinji. I really appreciate that. Do I think 2024 will be better than 2023 when it comes to video games? No, I don't think it'll be better. I do think we'll have some kind of idea about the future of gaming consoles. Like, I think this is going to be like a step forward. Like, I think we're going to hear about what Nintendo's planning next. Um, we may see some changes based on that for like hardware or something. But I don't think I don't know about software though. I think that remains to be seen. But uh, for me, I would definitely like to see what Nintendo's uh, plans are in the future. All right, so we're at negative four degrees Fahrenheit. So we've got coal. We've got two days of coal. Um, I think we're getting more wood and stuff. So we're able to move a lot faster. Now, how am I going to get food? We got more coal, wood crates, wood crates, steel wreckage. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not seeing any fucking food of any kind here. <laughs> uh, let's see, temperature. Controlling time, you can speed up time by clicking the game speed options found in the top left, uh, the top of the screen. You can also bind keyboard shortcuts for the speed. Okay, so we can make things like faster if we want to. Use construction menu at the bottom of the screen in order for the construction or dismantling of buildings and streets. Only people who are not working uh, can build structures. 
Uh, okay, so there's construction. Uh, cookhouse and a hunter's base. Uh, why don't we build the, uh, let's build this. Okay, so we're building the hunter's place now for more food. We have no food currently. We have no rations. End of shift. Go rest on can. So this is going to take a long fucking time to build. Um, let me move these. Uh, let me take some people off of this. And I think that maybe was speeding up construction of yeah. Now it's down to one hour, so that 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 helped a lot. Less people on the wood. Let's bring those people back. Uh, can you move the cam? Uh, yeah, sure. Hang on one second. Uh, I'm not sure. That in, in RTS games, always hard. I don't know where to put your camera. Let me move myself like here. Yeah, I've never played or seen this game, so check. We're checking it out. I think that's. I think that's probably better. Okay, so it says secure a raw food so I build a hunter's hut or a hot house and build a cookhouse and start preparing meals. Okay, so we're still working on that. Right angle, get the engineers back. Uh, I mean, the engineers aren't doing too much anyway, so that's fine. Okay, so we have the hunter's hut. It says it's inoperative. Um... People uh, working here gather. So what? What is this building? What is this building? This is stockpiles. Um, base heating level one requires wood. A cookhouse. We could also build a cookhouse too. Let's go. Also build a cookhouse. It's like uh, eighty homeless. Okay, so it looks like we're going to want to build tents, too, so that these people aren't fucking homeless. Uh, why don't we start building uh, tents? Uh, let's go build some tents. That should help a bit. There you guys get to work. Hope and discontent. Temperature inside a building uh, depends on the power settings of the generator. Uh, if the building is in a heat zone, that building's insulation and condition outside. There are six temperature levels. Comfortable, livable, chilly, cold, very cold, and freezing. Okay. Uh, generator is the hardest city and the only source of heat in this frozen land. You should turn it on as soon as you stockpile enough coal. So that's what we've got going on right now. Hunters leave the city in the in Frostland for food. They work 6 p.m. till 8 a, 6 a.m. They bring up uh, initially they bring up 15 units of raw food from each hunt. Research upgrades to significantly increase hunt yield. Okay, so they hunt at night. Uh, Oriquan, thank you for the 32 months. Thank you very much. There are many factors that can affect them. The most important are people's needs, laws, buildings, and abilities. Each law affects the mood of your society. Okay, do we have any? Do we have any laws? We have any laws so we're constructing tents and the cookhouse is going up oh i need to put people on oh let's get people hunting need to get people hunting here um we have uh how much coal? we have a lot of coal let's go get more uh hunters here Uh, okay, I didn't I you need to set people to actually hunt They mostly hunt at night. Yeah, I'm figuring it out with basic resources res uh, Secured for now. We can now try to rescue the people we left behind build a beacon scout frostland and save as many survivors from our expedition as possible we Need a workshop to design plans for more advanced buildings Okay, it looks like uh, hope is rising Hope is rising also looks like uh, we maybe have uh, we have more of this. Uh, the wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix a problem, your way is fine. 
Thank you. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. Okay. Okay, discontent is rising immensely. Um, it's really going up here. Build a workshop, build a convoy. So I'm running out of wood. Um, you know what? We need, we need wood. Hang on. Give me wood. Let's go none. Sorry, guys. Coal. Get wood. Wood crates. Are these, uh, these are my hunters here. And we have one sick. Okay. Our first sick person. I need to speak to the captain. Um, so I don't know what the temperature is right now. So we haven't researched the next level of it. Um, I think if we build more uh, tents, that will help. Right, I, I know the temperature here. I don't know what the temperature of this is, but it seems so that if we want to have more heat, we need to research that for now. So we, we can't do that yet. We're actually kind of good on coal. I think we really need to focus on wood next. I think those were my uh, those were my hunters out there looking for food. All right. Yeah, more tents is going to lower the amount of homeless, and that will help. It's a Fahrenheit apocalypse. Is this the No Mario Week? I literally can't think of a single fucking Mario hack to play. Uh, there is, there is. Nothing to play right now, man. There's not a single Mario World ROM hack to play. This is life in Charlotte after two inches of the snow. <laughs> there's there's nothing to do in Mario. So. Cows prepares meals for people. It produces two food rations from one unit of raw food. Raw food is provided by hunters and hot houses. Uh, and is sometimes found by scouts in their exploration. When there is no food rations to be had, people will start eating raw food. Cold homes or workplaces cause people to get sick. Without proper care, they can become gravely ill and might die. The sick can be treated at medical posts, um, but gravely ill need an infirmary. Until you build one, you can save your lives by signing uh, one of two laws. The radical treatment law. I don't know how to sign laws. How do I sign laws? Who elected me? The radical treatment law allows you to treat the gravely ill at medical posts. Some of them will left as amputees. <laughs> Yeah, we can get Tiny Tim here. Sustain life laws you to keep the gravely alive in medical posts or care houses indefinitely. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to sign a law. Oh, Book of Laws. Okay. Let's see. Uh, find ways to battle hunger, sickness. Adaptation. Cemetery corpse disposal. Child labor, safe jobs, child shelter, the fighting arena. So is it like I have to choose one or the other? Is that what it is? So what was, is there a way to look at what, what each one entails? Can I like click on it? Oh, okay. We'll try everything to cure the gravely ill. The gravely ill will be treated in medical posts. Hope will rise slightly. 30% of the gravely ill will be left as amputees. Discontent will rise slightly. Uh, we can't cure the gravely ill. We can at least keep them alive. We won't risk dangerous amputation with radical treatment. Radical treatment. Let's go radical treatment. Sign that law, baby. I just hope they won't cut off my leg. I like that, that apparently caused some ill, some uh, caused some unhappiness here. <laughs> Not people didn't like that. Uh, okay, we need to build more. Okay, so we need wood so we can build more tents. So wood is the priority. Okay, no coal. Get wood. Need wood right now. 
The music is depressing. You know, this is, you know, I gotta be honest. This is the game I was in the mood for today. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we need to put people to work in the coal house or in the cookhouse. Nobody's working there. So we need people working. This is, this is exactly the game I was in the mood for. Uh, are there like, is there a way to see idle villagers? Is anybody idle? All my engineers are still getting coal. Uh, I need wood. You guys go get wood. The number in the bottom right. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay, got you. Okay, so we get wood, we can make more tents and make people happier. I also need to build a workshop. So I'm gonna need a, uh, we're gonna need that too. What's the objective of this game? Uh, the objective is it's like an apocalyptic, like future slash past and the world is frozen and we're like trying to stay alive and form like a new city slash society. Uh, I just, uh, we just started the game. I've never, I've never played or seen this game. So we're, we're all figuring it out together. We're all figuring it out. I've never seen this game before. Never seen it. Don't know anything about it. Okay, so far it seems pretty cool. The future past. Can you zoom in? This is as far as you can zoom in. This is as far as you can do it. Part of this young adult book. Lots of snow. Now that you're 10 minutes in, where would you rank this on your all time favorite games? That's a really good question. Uh, raw food, food rations, about a day. So. Uh, we're doing okay on food, which is pretty nice. Doing okay on food. Got 15 workers on the hut here. Bringing back the wood. The game aesthetically looks good. Yo, Bakuro, thank you for the 17 months. Thank you very much. Uh, we are up to three Thanks sick so people. Much. We are up to three sick people now. The amount of sick are rising uh, exponentially. <laughs> a lot of sick people. I know we got a lot of sick people coming in. Uh, thank you, Bakuro. Thank you, Mighty Stallion. Appreciate the sub. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. So those are people who are resting after the hunt as well. You love Frostbug? Yeah, I've never played or seen this game. This is uh, all new to me. I've just, I've wanted to play this game for a long while. I wanted to play this game for quite some time. So, uh, we've got food rations for three days. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, we've got a lot of wood now. So we can probably, let's go, um, I think the, the cookhouse isn't, isn't doing anything anymore because we, we used all of our raw food. Let's see. Mark Sherman. <laughs> he works in the hunter's hut. All right, let's get these tents rocking here. Come on, Sherman. Curious, you finished the Portal 2 mod. I finished it last night. Yes, I did. We've got people, health. We've got a medical post. Treats the most common ailments. Uh, you know, our sick are rising. Uh, it might be nice to get the medical post going too. Let's go do that. We got a lot of wood, so we should be good on that too. Okay, I'd like to uh, get these people. I'd like to get some of this shit rocking so we can build it a lot faster. Uh, is there a way to see what time of day it is? City wakes up at 6 a.m. People have some free time till the work shift starts at 8 a.m. This is construction work. After they finish their shift at 18, they're free. Public construction, they can keep well past, keep them up well past. Then you can send their 10-hour 10, uh, 10 shift if you see that. Okay, so where is that? You can also do emergency shifts, apparently. Oh, so right now it is uh, five o'clock. Five o'clock right now.
on screen chat is a mess with the heavy ui games uh well you know you're just gonna have to survive i'm so sorry emergency shits you'll make it i promise uh so we still need to build, build a workshop and a beacon workshop and a beacon All right, so we ended up with a lot of wood. I think tomorrow should be probably a coal. Oh, look, our discontent actually uh, went down slightly. Okay. Uh, that might... Oh, you know why? That's because we have more tents. That's because we have more tents. Okay, so we have the medical post going up. Cookhouse, hunters. Uh, it wants me to build a workshop. Build a workshop there. How's the unhoused? Well, there's only so much room for tents here. You can only do so much. I think, are these uh, hunters heading out? I think we should keep the hunters out there going out for food. We should keep that, keep that rocking. So the medical post is gonna be done shortly. I have no idea what I'm in for. I've never seen this game. I've said so far, I'm, I'm digging it. So far, I'm liking it. Uh, so it's inoperative right now because I have nobody working. Um, it says I've got uh, some idols. Because I have 20 idols. Or wait, 15 prohibited? 20 idle workers. Well, why are they idle? Well, if they're idle, get some get some wood or something. I just wanted to play this game. No, I just wanted to play this game. No other reason. Yeah, I don't know why they're uh, why they're slacking. There must be the engineers in there. <laughs> All right, so we got the uh, workshop going. Um, oh boy technology tree uh exploration and industry resources so we can uh build something here steam hub and heaters a beacon oh it wants me to build a beacon does it not allows us to build a beacon uh hang on so where's all my uh engineers at We built the workshop. Where's where's all the uh, where's all that? Uh, pig spots. Thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. I know it's uh it's late, so I think a lot of people are sleeping now or going to go to sleep. The beacons. Are, I want to build a beacon. I have nobody working here. Is there a way to like clear out everybody's jobs and start over? Is there a way to do that? Use the bottom right to find them. Engineers are watching Twitch. <laughs> Some buildings such as the medical post or workshop require intense mental labor for people there. As such can only be staffed by engineers. Workers only provide manual labor. Children can't be employed at all initially. Check your workforce distribution by clicking on the icon in the bottom right corner. Use the workshop to develop new buildings and improvements. Okay, we kind of saw that. Uh, Dunkaroo, thank you for the seven months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Like the beacons. Oh, so I have 15 children. And I've got 20 unemployed. The hunters are out working. Can you research child labor? Uh, I think you, you can. I think you can, actually. I think child labor is an option in this game. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Okay, so let's go put, um, I think we want to get these guys working on coal. So we'll get those workers there. Um, where do I have, okay. My engineers were all working. All my engineers were working on the food, cr on the wood crates. So let's get the workshop. We're going to get five engineers on the workshop and let's get five engineers on the medical post. Okay, so now we have people actually being treated. Okay, cool. Uh, that may help. 
Uh, it's just like real life. I miss this game. I hope you run amok. Uh, well, you know, I, I feel like so far it's going okay. So far it's going all right. We've got rations. No, things are going okay. Oh, my sick is going, my, my number of sick is going down slightly. So that's pretty good. We still need uh, more shelter. Still need more shelter. In treatment. Hard at work. Uh, I don't think anybody's died yet. But I have five idle engineers right now. Uh, it's almost morning. Almost morning. Let's go build another tent. Go build another tent here. We're doing fine, all things considered. At least we're alive. Not everyone's so lucky. Hey, see, look. Things are looking. Things are looking up. Okay, so we can add a new research. We want to research the beacon. It requires... Wait, does it... So to build it, it requires wood and steel, but we have to research it first. Um, so why is... Do I... Wait, do I need the steel to... Do you need steel to research it? I'm alive. Is that what you need? Maybe you need steel to research it. No, just to build it. Workforce will extract steel. Well, why? I don't know why it says research stopped. They're going home and re oh, it's. Is it because they were going to work or something? Oh, they start. I forgot they start working at 8 a.m. Bro, who the fuck start? Who the fuck starts work at 8 a.m.? I guess I start streaming at 8 a.m., but when I was a teacher, I did not start work at 8 a.m. I'll tell you that. <laughs> you, I guess as a streamer, that's fair. But when I, when I was in, when I had a real job though. Okay, so we got some food back. Uh, we have some raw food stuffs. I don't think we need people working in the cookhouse though. People start at 8 a.m. I, well, I mean, we're in a post-apocalyptic future. I kind of feel like I'd start work sooner than fucking 8 a.m. I, I don't know. Call me crazy. <laughs> I think I'd work. I think I'd probably work a little sooner to stay alive. You just start at 7 a.m. I get to work around 8 and I leave at 3.30. These are some spoiled, these are some spoiled ass fucking workers, man. Okay, so we sign radical treatment. Uh, overcrowding. Our medical facilities should be fully utilized, even if we have to put the patients on the floor. Capacity of medical facilities is doubled. Uh, discontent. Extra rations. Use it. Use extra rations in medical facilities to speed up recovery. Interesting. Um, what else do we have? A cemetery. A burial ground so we can lay our dead to re uh, rest with dignity and respect. Child labor. Not enough hands for all the work will allow children to be employed in safe houses and safe workplaces like cookhouses, uh, child shelters. Children will be safer if they are uh, in child shelters during the day and they won't cause any mischief. Hope will rise. Uh... You know, children can work. We have like 15 children not doing much. Or hothouse, you know, let's uh, let's put the child labor one off. Put them kids to work. <laughs> uh, Infidel Dog, thank you for the 44 months. Uh, Annihilatrix, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Really appreciate that. I really want to put the kids to work. <laughs> Uh, let's see. You can force workers into a facility to work for the next 24 hours. An emergency shift. A fighting arena. Fight pit. A new recipe for soup. You can cook soup instead of full meals to feed more people the same amount of raw food. Everything seems to make everything worse. <laughs> like everything, you know, everything seems to make everything worse. Uh, 
Uh, cemetery or corpse, corpse disposal? I feel like I'm worried the most about hope and stuff. Let's go, uh, we'll go sign the cemetery. Let's go get that. We, we still have to build the cemetery, obviously. Okay. Look at the being the government. Everything seems to make everything worse. Okay, so we're getting some steel. They're bringing back some food. We still have plenty of food and raw food, so we should be fine on that. Um, everything hurts and I'm dying. The black dots are the children. Uh, let's see. The tent. Uh, so it seems like they're, uh... We could... It'd be nice to have more tents. Not adjacent to a street. So, can I, um... I, I... It says I can build this. Can I build this? Oh, I can. It's going to expand this. Okay, let's build... Uh, try to get some more tents out here. Click on the black thing. Uh, the generator functioning. No active buildings. There's a button to build streets. Is there? Where is there a button to build streets? Heck, resources... Oh, build a street. Um. Oh. Did I, like, fuck myself? Building streets. Uh, okay. Did I... I guess I built the street? Or blind? Oh, that's also a street. So I need the streets there so they can like reach stuff, I guess. Huh, weird. Well, they're not building this stuff right now because everybody's working. Word of advice. There's so much to do and not enough hands to do it. A quick way of addressing these problems is to put our children to work. Uh, so I have to wait 14 hours before I can sign a new law. Um, I, I want to like the game's like, hey, have you thought about child labor? Uh, sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city from the main group, but they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team. She urges you to hurry. We'll do what we can. Yes, yes, I have. Yeah, it really wants me to send the kids to the mines. I, I'm not sure if I built... Uh, I don't know if I built the street or not, but I guess we'll find out before too long. Get those damn freeloaders working. Yeah, Mark. exactly. Uh, extra CRT. Thank you for the resub. Thank you. Oh, look. Okay, they are actually building the street here. Okay, the street's going down. Luke Barstaple. Oh, I may is Luke Barstaple. He's working on the streets. So we, do, we did go from London, so all these people are British, right? Looking on the arrows to the left and right in the upper part of the building, you can quickly cycle through all the buildings of the same type. This comes in handy when your city starts getting bitter. You want to check this, uh addition of your healthcare facilities, for example. Okay. Fantastic accent. Thank you. Okay, we can now build the beacon. We need 20 wood and th 35 steel. We almost have enough steel. Almost have enough. We're getting there. Light the beacons. Uh, the tents will also, whenever these tents get, uh, the workers are still there. Whenever we get these tents built, that will also help, uh, quite a lot. Okay, we have enough, uh, we have enough steel. Let's go ahead and get, uh, nobody on the steel, and that should help. I think that will help get these tents and stuff built faster. And, uh... We just put the street there. I guess let's put the beacon there too. Uh, okay. 
one of those tents needs a street connection uh does it which one this one it's hard to tell whether or not uh something has a connect it's, if it's like connected or not um build a street I guess just keep building that. I'm not, I'm not sure I fully understand the streets yet. Uh, okay, so we just built that. We got resources faster gathering, a coal thumper. Uh, employing better tools and methods, people gather resources 50% uh, faster. Okay, research that one, please. That seems good. We have uh, some people who are not working. Uh, the workday is over, but I think we should be, we're, we're gonna be building these tents and stuff pretty soon. Is there a colorblind mode? But now we're gonna start getting, uh, the beacon's gonna be built and we got the tents going up. So that should help a lot. Uh, I think we're gonna need wood and coal tomorrow. Uh, is gonna be the thing. We're gonna need wood and coal. Nobody's working in the cookhouse right now. That's fine, though. Crack the whip on them slackers. I think we're, like, kind of doing okay. We're kind of doing okay. Discontent. Okay, so discontent just went down because we got another another set of tents built. I think we're doing... We're kind of doing all right. I think we're kind of doing okay. Uh... I guess it's kind of like a science fiction city builder, kind of. Science fiction city builder. I think it's time to get those kids to work. Hunter's huts. Beacon built. We're no longer lost in life. From now on, people will be able to survey the icy barrens that surround us. Frostland. Child labor is a right and a privilege. Oh, shit. Oh, so this is like, now people be like, oh, let's go there. Erroneoso, thank you for the 64 months. Thank you, Erroneoso. I appreciate that. Okay, wow. So this is, this is where my city is. Crash site, lost expedition. Send scouts here to learn more about this. Uh, several wrecked vehicles, no signs of life. They're probably our machines. Let's hope so. We have, to, uh, let's send them here. Numerous sense. Okay, how do I, people from our convoy, how do I send people there? Um, uh, directly the beacon is employ a new unit. Create a new scout team. I need 40 wood. Um, okay, is this working? Scouts, units. So I, did I set, did I, did I succeed? Did I send them? I think, I think I did. Okay. That's a little weird. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly how I did that. That's fine though. Okay. Um, I definitely want people working on wood crates tomorrow. It's gonna to take them 10 hours. Top right, you see how, yeah, that's that's them right here. Okay. Uh, we're also probably gonna want people working on food in the cookhouse as well. Um, we're gonna have more food. We're gonna have some cookhouse people tomorrow. So discontent has gone way down and we only have, we only have 10 homeless right now. So that's not too bad. Yeah, that has their ETA. Uh, we, when, when those people come back, we're going to have more mouths to feed and we're going to need more tents. So, conceptually, this is such a fuck situation. It's similar to Against the Storm. Click the thing. What thing? What am I clicking? Oh, this? Uh, people from our. <laughs> I was wondering why you guys kept typing exclamation point. <laughs> I was like, why do people keep typing that? 
People cheer as the giant observation balloon soars above the sky. This is a real feat. Everyone feels proud of what they've done to make it happen. Volunteers have lined up, eager to go looking for lost uh, lost people in Frostland. Women who came forward earlier is among them. We needed a win. Um, temperature of the city is constantly changing. Pay close attention to the forecast the next five days that is shown to the right of the temperature on the top uh, of the screen. It gets cold outside. The temperature inside buildings drops as well. Buildings differ in the amount of protection they offer from the cold. See all the factors. Uh, temperature in a building hover over the mouse over the thermometer icon and the panel beacon gives you access to the world outside you can explore it with scouts deployed to the beacon okay so so there's actually like this is so cool there's like a temperature it shows you the temperature uh it looks like the temperature is going to drop significantly in the next uh two levels so it looks like the forecast, it's going to fall and then it's going to rise again. Uh, that's a bit scary. We have uh, more sick. More sick. Oh, I mean, it's a bit nippy out. <laughs> well, if they are British, they're just going to constantly complain about the weather, right? Better bundle up. What's well, negative four in Celsius? Uh, well, 32 degrees is freezing. So negative four is pretty fucking cold. Chat, what is the coldest temperature you have ever experienced? Uh, when my dad my dad was stationed in Alaska in the, the military, I think he said it was like negative 70 in Alaska at night. Negative 70 degrees Fahrenheit, I think. 70 below zero, negative 50 in Northern Quebec. I get a 53. I get a 20 Chicago polar vortex. I kind of, I, I wonder like, what the fuck does that even feel like? Like, I don't know. I don't know what the coldest temperature I've ever experienced is. I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it's that much. The fuck does that even feel like? Cold. Oh, it's all cold. That's what it feels like. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it fucking hurts. Yeah. tropical resident no way <laughs> after a certain point the feeling isn't different it's things like needles hmm. I did a trip to siberia for research in university it was negative 68 degrees celsius what the fuck is that in fahrenheit negative 68 degrees celsius all right people are going to be waking up pretty soon uh we definitely should get some people working in the cookhouse some more food we got raw food and we got food rations for less than a day let's say nobody on this coal pile let's put people to work in the cookhouse and these people are actually going to be back in like two hours so that's pretty cool uh so research we haven't stopped but we're going to be getting uh stuff faster Oh, a new law. All right, let's see. Book of Laws. Let's take a look. Uh, new recipe soup. You cook soup instead of full meals to feed people the same amount of raw food. Uh, Children can work in safe workplaces. All right, kids, it's time to get to work. Wow, that uh, that did not make people very happy, did it? All right, let's get those kids working in the in the, the cookhouse. <laughs> Good game thematic. It's snowing like crazy right now. Get those kids to work. Oh, I've got ten more children available. All right, get some wood, kids. <laughs> Listen, it's a game where you can introduce child labor as a new parent. I feel like this is, uh, this is awesome. Uh, exploration. You monster. Uh, once they reach an explored, uh, site, scouts will await your orders. To issue them, click the highlighted icon. Scouts will need your decision yeah. on how to deal with what they find. Scouts carry the resources they recover. Okay, so there's a decision I have to make here. 
Finally living up to your barbarous name and putting those freeloading kids to work. You were more upset about potentially losing limbs and losing their kids? I mean, it's a survival situation. I think the kids can stop playing around and can fucking cook a meal, right? Spork Boots, thank you for the 500 bits. Le Boost, thank you for the resub. Lytalm, thank you for the resub. Thank you, guys. The rest of our people made camp here. Too exhausted to go on. We should escort them to the city. Um... We enter the camp, appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcome us. Thank God you found us. We've been wandering for days and we couldn't go on any longer. Soon we'd be begin to starve. And adults, adults surround us, packed and ready to go. It's so we can escort them to the city. Escort the survivors to the city. Okay. So that's done. And now they're going to be back in five hours think okay how do i once they reach an explored site scouts always yeah. okay how do i get back to this okay there we go um sick beds barb is no longer barbarous king he's now barbarous tyrant all hail our maniacal ruler of child labor salute Okay, you know what we're going to need? We're going to need more hunters outposts because the food consumption is going to go crazy. We're going to need another hunter's hut. It's negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit today. Yikes. Yike Aronis, man. Holy shit. We're going to need another hunter's hut here. Got uh, pretty fucking cold here, didn't it? Uh oh. Goodbye, homeless people. Uh, you know, well, if 10 homeless people die, we got 20 more coming in. So that's a net gain of 10. That's not bad. <laughs> Five being treated in pal palliative care. Math works out. Monster society tips. Think like an American. This guy, math. That's, that's not too bad. Uh, let's see. People in treatment don't go to work until they're healed. This lowers the efficiency of the workplace. Numerous sick absent can seriously affect your economy. To get ahead of this problem, provide adequate health care by opening enough facilities. Okay. In extreme circumstances, the generator can be put into overdrive to increase the heat it provides, but also put the generator under stress. Uh, when it reaches 100%, the generator will explode. Um... So I can put it into overdrive and increase my heat. And right, okay, so just keep an eye on that. I think that that, that maybe helps. I can look at my, this is my temperature overlay. Okay, um, as long as I keep an eye on that, Let's keep an eye on it. We are, I'm sure we're consuming, uh, we're consuming it faster. Mild frostbite. A citizen became gravely ill. Uh, well. When people have become gravely ill, this will keep them, uh, this will keep happening if people have to work in such cold. I see. <laughs> uh, okay. So two people are sick. Scouts have returned. Scouts have arrived with 10 engineers, three children, and 20. Wow, that's a lot of fucking people. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, can I change my response to these things? Could I Could I have actually said something else? I got some fucking workers here. Like I'm creating Midgar one piece at a time here. I didn't realize I had choices. 25 workers. Uh, Bass Fader, thank you for 48 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. It's hard when you see families reunite with so many hardships, but shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expedition left London long ago. That'd be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. We will look for the. Oh, wait, I could. I got. I. There's like a way to change what you're doing there. I have to like look around. 
Observatory, sturdy shelter. I can send scouts here to find out more about this place. Okay, so I guess I'm sending out those people to there now, I guess. Okay, sure. And uh, we're going to build a new hunter's hut. We'll find a trail leading the wilderness. We should follow it. Um, okay. Search for others. Find another settlement. No, this is just a game I wanted to play. That's all. There's nothing else. Nothing else to it. Uh, generator is at 11%. Oh boy, we got a lot of discontent. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of we have a lot of new places for people. Okay, let's uh, get more tents. And we're also gonna need to build uh, roads too. Still a little unsure how the whole roads thing work, works out, but. Okay, so scouts are underway there, and uh, this will start getting worked on soon. Are these people getting coal? Uh, let's take all these people off of coal. And, um. going to build so these guys are going to build this i want to get the hunters thing going because i think food is going to become we only have a day's ration of food and we just had a bunch more people arrive so that's a bit uh, a bit much faster gathering researched okay that's pretty cool uh-oh we depleted these wood crates oh that's bad uh, all right what do we got to research Turns frozen trees into usable material, producing up to 80 wood per standard day. This allows us to build a sawmill. Heating, a steam hub. Allows us to build steam hubs. Uh, when powered by the generator, these contraptions create additional smaller heat zones around them. Uh, and heaters. Allows us to use heaters to heat workplaces during working hours. Each heater raises the workplace temperature by... Okay, that's pretty nice, especially considering we've uh, we've had some people getting frostbite. Let's go grab that one. Yeah, they just arrived and want more fucking food all of a sudden. Do they have that many people aren't working right now? Is that, is that really how many people aren't working? You know, I suppose. Okay, now hopefully we can get some of this shit done. Put the children to work on coal. Uh, I think I had them working in the cookhouse for a while. I had them working in the cookhouse. Uh, we might have some fucking starvation coming soon. Children yearn for the mines. I need to get this shit done. Um... Might be time to research that soup real fast, man. I was hoping I could get this built soon. Too hungry. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. We arrived and all of a sudden we're fucking hungry, huh? I wanted to get this hunter's hut thing rocking. Well, I think we might be having ice soup. Oh man, the amount of hungry is rising. It's a lot of hunger all of a sudden. <laughs> I hope I can send these guys out for tomorrow because the, the food is, uh, food's becoming a massive problem. I'm in a big fucking problem. I need sawdust. Uh, now the, this will definitely help. Emergency shift, everybody hunts. First die gets eaten. I kind of think like, let's build another, because it seems like food's going to become a big deal. Another hunter's hut too. Probably going to need another one of those too. Come on, send out, send out some more dudes. 
Yeah, Max. Send him out. Don't you already have two? Well, I have a hunter's hut. Oh, hang on. Oh God. Okay, I, I forgot about my generator. We really need to. We really need to uh, be more careful with the generator. Yeah, yeah. The amount of hunger is uh, kind of not great. It's kind of not great. And we're gonna research soup real fast too when this when this is done. <laughs> Emergency soup law. No soup for you. <laughs> uh, so we got this thing working in overdrive. We, it's fine that we're in overdrive. That's fine. Okay, let's... Um, where's everybody working at? Um, turn them off the coal pile. Hunters, hunters are the most important right now. Okay, let's go past that soup law real fast. <laughs> need that, need that soup law here real fast. You cook soup to fill full meals instead of to feed more people with the same amount of raw food. Uh, saw, sawdust meal. We can add sawdust, make meals more filling, although not exactly tasty or healthy. Uh... People eating saw. Well, let's go with soup, I think, rather than... Let's go with soup. Oh, that... New law is signed. That made people not too happy. Which one is the cookhouse? That's the medical post. Uh, we have more and more sick. Okay, uh, soup... Uh, yeah, we have to do a soup instead of that one for sure. But we can't we can't do that until it's closed. It's gonna be a rough night here, guys. It's gonna be a real rough night. Hang in there, everybody. Hopefully those hunters come back with a lot of fucking food. Hopefully those hunters come back with a lot of food. Just a little sawdust. A little sawdust. It's still good. Buckle down here, guys. Also, we're gonna have to turn off the generator here pretty soon. We're at 64%. I don't think we want the generator to explode. Uh, Ophelia, thank you for the 33 fact, months. You did so well. I'm going to note this on your file in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Uh, we also are, we're kind of, we're kind of getting rough with the amount of sick here too. All right, let's go turn off the generator. Mm, I don't know if people are too happy, man. <laughs> All right, we got 25 idle right now. Um, we have not a lot of food rations. Uh, I suppose let's go get some coal. Uh, have some children get some more coal here. Um, get some more wood. Uh, we got more engineers. Where's our... The workshop is still researching um, heaters. Researching heaters. Uh, let's see. I'm uh, going to put you guys extracting coal, too. Uh, my daughter knows two languages. You get a higher pay in your child workforce. Um, no. <laughs> How much coal can she carry? Okay, we got a little bit of food. A little bit more food just came in. Okay, yeah, we're gonna be making soup here. Depleted wood crates. Uh, let's see, so these are hunters. Yeah. So they're bringing back some food. So like, it looks like our food is going up a little bit. Food's going up a bit. That's good. 
going out with the boys to shoot 2,470 pounds of meat and bring back 200 pounds. Get those kids to work. Uh, Big Red the Giant, thanks so much for 76 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Okay, so our food should be rising here pretty soon. This city sucks. I, it's a frozen apocalypse. I'm doing the best I can, motherfucker. What do you, what do you want from me? Hey, my, well, this sucks, man. The world fucking ended. It's only... What do you want? Not enough. Everybody in the world is dead. You're alive. You're welcome. What season are we? It'd be kind of fucked up if it was summer. Uh, realistically speaking, what could what could cause a uh, an ice age on the Earth? Uh, I know a big one would be like a giant volcano or an asteroid could throw up enough shit into the sun that would cool globally the temperature, right? That could potentially be one of them. Um, a, a sun could a sunspot could theoretically cause one, like a big ass sunspot. A nuclear winter, another possibility, right? Ice age is also cyclical. If we all fart at the same time, wouldn't that actually cause global warming? <laughs> we have a lot, you know, we should really consider building another like medical thing. Because we have a lot of sick. My mom falling from the bed. Uh, Ramashku, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. The lore of this game says volcano. Yeah, we haven't seen. Okay, so we have a citizen who is gravely ill. Heaters, use heaters to work, uh, you to, uh, for workplaces. Heaters researched. We have heaters. Does that mean all of my, um, does that mean my workplaces are a little bit warmer than they were? Is that what that means? I don't know how to make things warmer. Save this patient's life. We had to perform an amputation. As a result, this person won't be able to work. Consider signing the care house or prosthetics law. I see. Uh, we must do something about it. So I can't sign a law yet. A care house. Your letter kept alive uh, and no longer burden medical posts. Resident, residents can uh, residents of care house eat half as much. So you have to build a care house I'm for told. that. We'll consider signing that. Uh, Kiznal, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Oh, are these guys bringing back more food. It's a good thing we've got soup. Um, okay. Throw them out in the fucking snow. I think the temperature is going to rise slightly, which is nice because fucking A, dude. Oh, you're waiting? Search the area. Shelter is comfortable and well equipped with the emergency supplies. Just notice uh, the door. To all signs, if you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon your return to the city. This means there's another city out there. A sign posted by the trail points two directions. London, 1934 miles home, 27 miles. Sites discovered steel bridge. We can take their resources. Okay. Uh, shelter, we've taken all the supplies. Um, notify the quartermaster upon return of the city. Okay. So are these guys, do we send them back? What do I do now? I don't. Uh, so these guys have a bunch of supplies. What do I? I don't know how to. How do I send them back? Go to the city. No. Hmm. Uh, are there even nineteen hundred miles in any direction in the Great British? I click on your town. So I just like click. Oh, okay. It'll take them eleven hours to go back. Okay, so now they're coming back. Got you. Um, 
All right, so our food situation is like kind of stable. Oh, there's the amputee right there. <laughs> I have one amputee. Uh, the amount of hungry has gone down, but the amount of sick is rising a lot. I'm going to assume that's because of the temperatures being so bad. This is not a Marvel game. No, this is a game I just wanted to play. Oh, I have a research. Uh, let's see. Contraptions create additional smaller heat zones around them. Unmodified steam hub consumes three coal per hour. Coal thumper. Forming a pile of up to per day, enough for two gathering posts. A sawmill. Hunter's gear. Thanks to better snowshoes and enhanced camouflage, hunters setting out return with more raw food. Food. Seems good. Food's a problem. I think food and temperature are big problems right now. Okay. Uh, all workers working in buildings that are blue and the temperature are risk getting sick. Right, right. But there's not really much I can do right now. So not too much I can do. And these tents are, uh, are not close to the heat either. That's why they want me to build like the steam vents or something to help out with that. Not too much I can really do about that. Uh, we are running low on, uh, wood supplies. Let's go send children to go get wood. We're going to want to put engineers to work here. Okay, so the amount of hungry is zero. Nobody is hungry anymore. Yeah, the homes are fucking cold, apparently. Now, we have a lot of hunters going out for food, so that's good. Those kids aren't pulling their weight. Oh, yeah, we do have, we do have a new law. I, I gotta say, this game is really cool. I'm having a really fun time putting children to work. <laughs> Child labor, all jobs. <laughs> like the kid with the pickaxe. <laughs> uh, care house. Hope will rise. The gravely are kept alive in care houses and no longer burden medical posts. We will have to build a care house. Um, fighting arena. I don't think a fighting arena is critical right now. All right, let's sign the care house. Let's get the care house rocking. I still have to build one. We still have some homeless people. Uh, let's go put five more engineers on this medical post. So that should be uh, a few more people getting taken care of. Let me add them. Why are you not burning the dead or at least eating them? <laughs> I, you know, it's a valid question. Why are we not eating our dead? I have two amputees. Somebody else got fucking amputeed. Bullshit. Okay, now, all right, you know what? We should eat them. Uh, okay, let's take these guys off of coal. I think... Wood. Wood, please. I think we really need wood. Coal. All coal. Coal deposit. I think we should really, we should probably get the sawmill soon. Sawmill seems important because wood is, uh, wood seems perilously low. What's up, Showtime? Yeah, dude, I wanted, I wanted to play this game for a long time. And uh, I'm finally checking it out. Your frostbitten limbs are delicious. So I'm kind of out of wood. I feel like uh, maybe our next priority should be uh, the sawmills. Sawmills should be next. When's our storage pesty for a chosen... Oh, okay. 
gather resources from nearby coal piles wood crates Ooh, maybe i should have built these gathering posts and shit i never built those this game is brutal yeah we're gonna need that wood and that food our food rations are bad thankfully we have a lot of hunters coming out now also the temperature is about to rise so that's kind of nice we need like a i need a weatherman Looks like we got this warm front coming in on the south and uh, looks like temperature is going to rise here to a nice, a nice warm negative 30 degrees coming up soon and get you guys, uh, get your bathing suits ready. <laughs> if they come back, I guess the scouting party might bring back some wood. Yeah. Warm, yeah, warm front. Yeah. <laughs> a balmy negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. We arrive with 223 wood, 102 foot food, and a steam core. I'm not really sure what to make about the steam core. People have become amputees as a result of serious frostbite, work accidents, other mishaps, or after becoming gravely ill, being treated by radical treatment. Amputees can't work, but they still need to be housed and fed. Later in the game, you can reach your upkeep. They'll help you find solutions to this problem. <laughs> oh, I can think. I can think of a few solutions myself. I'm going to give a couple solutions. <laughs> Define solutions. Uh, okay, so we have another scout thing. There's this steel bridge and there's an observatory and a crash site. Uh, let's go to the crash site. 20 hours, day and eight hours. Let's, the crash site is close. Let's send out the crash site. Let's go there. Negative 38 in the next couple days where I'm at, brr, that sounds pretty fucking cold, man. So we're, we're like really, really good on wood. Uh, we could go build, uh, another tent and a care house. Finally, let's go build a care house. Get more food. Uh, yeah, I, we need more food for sure. I've got, I've got a research thing. So my hunters will make better food. Negative 40 Fahrenheit, just say negative 40. Did you know that negative 40 degrees is the same in Celsius and Fahrenheit? Oh, interesting. Yes, okay, so we're going to build the care house. Um, Maybe, yeah, it's, it feels like every, I need to research like fucking everything. Like I need everything very badly. So why is this uh, too cold? This building must be at least chilly inside. It's too cold to work in the medical post? Oh, wow. I didn't know that was a thing. It's pretty, wait, it's pretty close to the thing, is it not? Oh, dude, it's warming up. Oh, it's negative 22. Hey, it's pretty warm out here, guys. Come on. <laughs> okay, now we're working a little bit. Now we're working. You haven't turned on the heaters you research. Wait, how do you turn on heaters? I did not know that was a thing. Care house promise fulfilled. Hope rises. Uh, the heater is off. Okay, turn on the heat. Did not know that was a thing. <laughs> okay, where is the uh, other medical posts? Turn on the heat. Right, so how's our temperature? Oh, that probably helps a lot. <laughs> that probably helps a lot. Turn on the oxygen. Yeah, yeah. We're just all fucking dying here. We got the heat on now. Gonna build one of them saddle. I found the heat. I didn't know you had to turn. I didn't know you had to manually turn on the fucking heat. Pardon me. Uh, as people grow this indifferent to the sight of bodies lying in the snow, something in their heart and souls go numb. Such is the price of survival. Whoa, people are really not happy about that. Uh, cemetery? Cemetery.
uh roads i think uh the cemetery has a road right there actually you can see it i guess the cookhouse is going to be like inoperative right because we don't have any raw food to work with so i suppose uh let's go send these children to go gather some steel Underfloor heating in the cemetery. The cemetery's going up. Never a problem solved by eating your dead. Well, I think uh, eating human flesh is uh, a short-term solution and not a long-term solution. Uh, let's see. People who become amputees live in care houses. Uh, temperature requirements. Many buildings such as a cookhouse or medical house must be at least chilly to warm or function. Place them in the heat zone. Otherwise, they should stop working when it gets colder. So I should consider researching the... Um, this is my research thing. Uh, we're researching the hunter stuff. And uh, I should consider researching something else. I wonder if I build more research stuff, if research would go faster too. Isn't that how many deads you're planning on, uh, planning on having? Okay, so these people are, proper burial takes time and have the loss of hope caused by a death. So Hunter's gear is rocking. Uh, child injured at work, scold this kid for being careless. <laughs> Give this kid a day. All right, you can have a day off kid. There you go. Hope rises slightly. <laughs> Do you want to be like an absolute fucking douchebag or would you want to just give the kid a day off? I'll give the kid a day off. Okay, so we got Hunter's Gear researched. Uh, we got heaters. Steam hub. You know, wood, I think, is becoming like a real problem. Like we're gonna run we don't have that we're gonna run out of wood like pretty soon we we've like, like almost exhausted our crates uh why don't we research the sawmill why don't we research the sawmill frostpunk is hot on twitch one one two three seven fourteen four thousand five hundred <laughs> I think uh wood i'm i'm worried about our uh wood expenditures let's go get that wood uh let's see so if i were to build we're gathering here uh gather resource from nearby coal so i could like theoretically build this do i want to build a gathering post i probably should have built one of these sooner i wonder if it's like too late Probably should have built that sooner, right? You would too in this climate. Uh, let's see, the wood crates. Yeah, I think it's like a bit late now, right? Yeah, I know they have their own heaters, but kind of feel like it's a bit late. Uh, I think another medical post to try to cure would help. Um... Okay, let's put that there and let's go build another street here. Okay. We got a lot of sick and still homeless. Uh, let's go get another tent rock in here. Okay, reduce the amount of homelessness. Yeah, we got the street going. We're we're working on it. We're working on it. Gather your tools. The shift is ending. Yeah, definitely warmer than it was. Uh, scouts have reached the crash site. Uh, some of our precious supplies should be here. Okay, explore the area. 
Uh, there are plenty of priceless supplies in the wrecks of our expedition. Searching among the crates in the snow behind the wrecks, we found the bodies. They're tangled together in a frozen mass. We were trying to find at least a little bit warm before they died. We can do nothing for them, not even bury them. Okay. Take their resources then. And come on back. So it kind of tells you if you've been there or not. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I've never uh, I've never played this game before. I've never seen this game before. I'd say so far it's been it's really cool. So far, really cool. So far, it's neat. Uh, let's see. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the low temperatures in their homes. It's quite simply point out that it's easy to fall ill when it's cold and ask you to address this. Uh, let's heat some homes. Let's heat all the homes. Keep them heated. Well, you know what? There's a lot of sick people. Uh, heat all the homes. Do it. Secure livable conditions in homes. Well, zero out of five livable. We have to like, I guess next uh, solar power will fix this. You know what we're gonna need is we're gonna need those steam vents, I think, to uh, make things better. We're gonna need those steam vents to like help give heat around. I think like a steam vent probably like here would be good. Something there, I think. I'm a true politician, that ain't gonna happen. Yeah, I have, I understand, I have to do it. So I'm thinking if I put a steam vent here and maybe here, I would hit a lot of these tents. You'll never heat the, you know, watch me, bitch. Watch me heat those fucking houses. The peasants are never gonna nut up if you keep coddling them, bro. I know, these are a bunch of fucking lazy peasants. Lazy fucking peasants in this world. Their hope is misplaced. Uh, I could also uh, put the generator in overdrive. And that could raise the heat a bit. Oh, yeah, look at that. Hey, look at that. Make it nice and comfortable. There we go. Let's go turn on that fucking generator, baby. Now, it might fucking explode on us, but, you know, it is what it is. I've invested all my hope stocks in our barbarous ruler. It's not too bad, right? We only have three homeless. We do have a lot of sick. So the medical post is inoperative because we need, uh, there's, there's engineers not there. Um, do I have engineers? Where do I have my engineers at? Is there a way to see, um, I have a lot of engineers in that coal pile and I would much, I really need them at this medical post is where I need them. Um, so now I have five idle, I have more idle engineers. Hold alt, what does holding alt do? Uh, I could probably build another medical post. It seems like you really need a lot of medical posts. Okay, let's build that there. Scouts have returned with a lot of food and wood, so that's good. Um, let's go get more roads here. Streets are going up. Uh, Pi, thank you for the 50 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Can I move my overlays to, to the left? Are you talking about the chat? You're really not missing too much here. You're not missing all that much. There's like the map and that's pretty much it. Uh, Wild Vulture, thank you so much. Appreciate that. You're honestly not missing What's too up, much. Bart? Sending love to you and the family. Uh, hey, thanks so much. We've got Gloomy Cave. There's a dark cave entrance on the hillside. We think we saw a faint wisp of smoke, but it's gone now. 
Uh, the let's go to the observatory. Let's go to the observatory where we're going. Let's go back to the city. When you finally get to Factorio, you might like it. Let me watch my temperature here too. It looks like the temperature is going to drop pretty soon. Now, if you zoom in a bit where they are, you can hover over and see each class. Yeah, it looks like we have five idle engineers, but I want to put them to work in the uh, medical facility if I can. Uh, they're working on it right now. Must be a gust in that gloomy cave. Factorio is not a game for Barb. You're out of your mind. 15 being treated. We still have, man, we have so many sick. Oh my God, 23 sick. Jesus Christ. Bunch of sick fucking bitches here, huh? Man up. <laughs> uh, workers. Feed them to the furnace. Cold homes. That's probably why, right? Uh, let's go put the children to work in the cookhouse, I think. Got some kids to work there. I don't think we really need more steel. Uh, what do you got for me? A mother has refused to let her day off, afraid uh, she'll get injured. We could look uh, the other way this time, but others might see this as unfair. Let her have a day off. Let her have a day off. We have another medical post. Or what are we researching again? Uh, the sawmill, I think, is what we're researching. Grim shit. I don't think this game is really like a peepo happy kind of game. Not really that kind of game. <laughs> hey, nobody's homeless. Uh, that might be because enough people died so that now homelessness isn't a problem. So, you know, that's pretty good. That might be why. Oh, God. I only have 11 hours left to do this? Oh, I thought I had more time. Oh, well, that's never going to happen then. Oh, I thought I thought I had more time. Shit, man. Okay, I'm going to turn off the generator on overdrive, I think. Uh, well, it's inoperative now because, yeah, because now it's going to be chilly. That means we're going to have a lot of people not being able to do it, but I think I kind of need to. We broke it. So I need, I need heat. Like I need like a steam vent really badly here. Okay. What if, um, if I stop researching this, will I lose my progress on it? the heater on there uh can you turn the heater on? oh i can oh there we go uh let's see they're still building this one Okay. Recently sawmills when wood stockpiles are full. You know, uh, all of that, you know what? That is true. We did, we did, uh, that's because they could, they kept bringing back wood and shit. That'd be why. Um, probably wants people working on coal. Let's get those kids getting some coal. I wonder if you give them like regular food. Um, five food rations for it. If you give them regular food, does that make them happier? I wonder. I wonder if that makes them a bit happier. You filled the medical post. Nuggies for everybody to the coal mines. Okay, so that's researched. Uh, quickly, let's research steam vents, steam hubs. Research steam hubs quickly. People like food. Oh, I have a new, I have a new law as well. All right, let's see. What's our new law we're issuing here? Uh, ceremonial funerals. 
Um, loss of hope, uh, this one. Extra rations for the ill. Use extra rations in medical facilities. You know, we have a lot of food now. What do you think? Speed up recovery? Yeah, let's do that. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Food's pretty good. We got plenty of food rations. Uh, extra rations. Yeah, you know what? Let's go give yeah. some extra rations at our medical facilities to speed up these fucking sick bitches. Speed them up. You can just bury people. That's some quality fuel. One of our people is facing death, but he's still refusing amputation. He keeps screaming that he doesn't want anyone to touch his leg and he won't change his mind. Cut off his leg. This person will probably die. Cut it off. They should have played a chunk. <laughs> they should have given me, the, give me the sound effect, man. What the hell, dude? <laughs> Thank you, chat. That's what I wanted. <laughs> um. I think the this would help too. The uh, resource depot would probably help. Uh, Sonzer, thanks for the bits. Appreciate that. Thank you, Sonzer. Old pile depleted. No, I want to play this again. Uh, I said that I'm having a really good time with this game. Oh, the new building by signing a uh, okay so already we already figured that out um it looks like my amount of of sick is going down a lot so that's pretty good amount of sick is falling temperature is gonna drop pretty soon it looks like Game looks sick. I'm probably going to grab this one. Apparently, they announced a Frostpunk 2, which I am now excited about. I am now excited about. First time is almost certain death. Uh, I, I don't know, man. I feel as though I'm doing pretty solid here. I think I got this game figured out. No problemo. I think I'm doing pretty good. Personally... Oh, um, we're not in the heater. Um, all right. So I need engineers. Uh, do I have any engineers working somewhere stupid? Um, let's see. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the rising number of untreated sick. Uh, they're asking to address the problem. I will open a new medical post. I promise sick will be treated. Uh, I will open a new medical post. Okay. I can build another one. Sure. Promise broken. You promise people warrant you broke your promise. Hope falls. Discontent rises. Whoa. Hey, give me a fucking break, bitches. Jeez, man. Uh, uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, chat, is there a way to see who's working where? I want to find my engineers. Oh, okay, so I've got... My daughter is now on a strength training routine to carry more coal and wood. Can we please have more sawdust soup? <laughs> no. <laughs> I am literally... I do not have enough engineers to do these things. I literally don't not enough engineers all my engineers are all working in either researching or medical stuff i don't have enough straight up i mean i can still open a new uh thing uh what we really need the most though are those steam vents i think we need those the most i got this game figured out drastic hope lost <laughs> yeah that's kind of how it happened Scouts have reached the observatory. Something I missed the observatory. Snow covers the depression and uh, someone's inside. Explore. Let's 
Instead of astronomers, we met, uh, I lost people. They explained they came here for help but found everyone dead. Uh, the astronomers continued their observations till they starved. What was so important for them? They wrote up in their diaries, loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by the fouling of the atmosphere by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. Twin survivors uh, with them quickly and safely. So I guess this is if you want, if you want your research team to go somewhere else. Let's go escort them back. Hopefully there's some engineers in that group. If you want your scouts to like do that, I guess. Barb left, barb left, barb left. Fire is fading. It's about to get fucking cold as shit again. Hopefully we finish this one. Um, cold at home, bad healthcare, two promises broken. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know. This is going great so far, man. I don't know. Uh, Miss Mary Mac, thank you for the 12 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you, Miss Mary Mac. We really need these, uh, steam vents. This is where if you had like a 24 hour shift, it could actually really benefit you, right? Hole is uh, looking a little rough. Did I have an engineer? Can you change the difficulty? I did not notice there was a difficulty setting in the game. I did not notice one. Okay, so I've got uh, people working on steel wreckage. I don't think I need steel or wood. I think we would probably want some coal. Coal, get coal. We're probably gonna need this coal soon for heating everything, I think. Uh, can you upgrade the camp? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's what we're doing gradually. That's what we're doing bit by bit. I bet that's what we're doing. Um, which one's the cookhouse again? I think it's like slightly hard to tell uh, what is what when you're looking at stuff. It's because everything is fucking covered in snow, <laughs> you know, but like it kind of makes sense, I guess. Have you ever played Monster Hunter? I have never played Monster Hunter. No, never played it. Maybe someday. You guys can always choose it for marbles, too. I, th there's so many Monster Hunter games. I don't know where I would even begin with them. Uh, I'm glad I didn't do hard difficulty. The game never even gave me an option. It wasn't like, hey, I'm going to do easy or hard mode. It does want me to open a new medical post. Uh, why don't I go ahead and build one? Sometimes I wonder what the purpose of our struggle is. You shut the fuck up. Any new releases you're looking forward to? Um, say uh, Elden Ring DLC, Wo Long, Pal World is coming out soon. I think I am going to do Pal World Early Access, I guess. Why not? I guess we'll try that out. And um, yeah. Now, did I say Wo Long? What's it? It's not Wo Long. It's Black Myth Wukong. Excuse me. Uh, Hades. Yeah, I'm very excited about Hades too. Yeah, I'm excited about that, for sure. Yeah, I'm sorry. I meant I meant uh, Black Myth Wukong. Okay, so I'm building the medical post now. Nobody can work there because I don't have enough engineers, but. Oh, does it have to be operative? Well, I'm really glad these people are coming back here. Oh, it came back with 19 engineers. Hell yeah, dude. And now we have more homeless again. More. Now we have even more homeless. 
Uh, gloomy Cave Steel Bridge. Go to Gloomy Cave, please. Okay, now... Uh, slightly nervous about uh, the amount of coal we have. Pretty good shape on wood. We've got plenty of raw food. Yeah, that will increase my coal supply. We've almost got these steam vents, which will help with the houses. Wait, wait, is that not, a, did I not open a new medical post? Medical post. Oh. I just opened a new medical post. It's right here. I've got more idle engineers. Oh, okay. Steam hub researched. Waiting for researchers. Promise broken. I've got them showing up. Do it again. I have to do another one? I mean, I've got plenty of sick. As we're waiting on workers here. Um, we need more tents. Okay, we also need these uh, steam vents too. Uh, let's go get our roads in. What do you got for me? Uh, double in the wake of recent child worker that argue we should give working children double rations. Uh, sure. You know what? We could use a little bit of hope. Give them some food. We got an achievement that says, please, sir. I want some more. Have you heard of rise of the Ronin? Yes. Yes, I have. Uh, I am excited for rise of the Ronin. Really hoping it's better than Wolong long because I did not really care for Wolong long very much. Oh, here we go. Healthcare promise. Hey, look. Healthcare achieved. Literally, my sits better than the United States. <laughs> Literally better than the United States. Check it out. Healthcare. Uh, are we not researching anything? Add new research. I hate it. <laughs> God, that's sad. Uh, exploration and industry resources. Uh, let's go get this coal thumper thing. Okay, now if I want to build this steam vent. Someone left a note on the care house. Thank you. With all the work we had to do, it's so hard for families to properly care for an invalid. Places like this make it at least a little easier. I'm glad I could help. Hope rises. Uh, a steam hub requires 20 steel and it would provide warmth. Okay. Okay, let me see what's the coldest area. Okay, I think a steam a steam thing here would be good. Put one right there. Long stream incoming. What's up, Glow? Oh, merciful leader. That's going to help. It's also going to increase our supplies here. Or our, um, excuse me, our coal expenditure, I believe. There's a lot of houses over that will get covered. It's also be nice to have one here, I think. Go put one right there, too. It would suck to live there. And the temperature is about to go down, so it's probably a good thing that we're doing this, too. Wait, how the fuck are we going hungry? Excuse me? Oh, is it because nobody's working in the cookhouse? Is that why? Well, if you built those fucking tents like I told you to. Out of soup? I thought it was because we had plenty of rations or something. You're overfeeding those whiny brats. <laughs> okay, let's see. Is 
So temperature has gone up here, which is nice. Functioning. Range setting. Huh. Okay. You know, with the temperature about to go down, it's probably a good thing we got these going. Probably a good thing. You know what? I have made these living conditions a little bit better, you fucking ungrateful bitches. I feel like I should have a little bit more hope here. Thank you. Ungrateful bastards. Uh, dark mode. Thank you for the 32 months. Thank you, dark mode. I really appreciate that. Building streets. Let's get all that shit going. It's not better. It's less worse. <laughs> the executions will continue. I don't even know if we've had anybody die yet. Um, I still have... Um, I had eight... Listen, I had eight idle children we could have had working that entire time. You got a blinking street not connected to the neck, the rest. Uh, I think this street is blinking because they're building, because they're building it. Those lazy utes. Things are looking uh, actually fairly warm, fairly warm here. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, this tent's a bit chilly. I probably should have put that tent over there. Would probably help, but I guess those people are fucked. They live in a cold part of town. Sorry, tough shit. <laughs> tough shit. He just jinxed us into oblivion. How do we find another settlement? Uh, well, so we're, we we sent out the scouting party, and we're kind of slowly scouting out the areas around us. We've checked out all of these. We're going back to this gloomy cave now. There's also a steel bridge over there, so. This road is not connected to the hub. Oh, uh, wait, so do I have to like... Oh, is that what I need to do? Okay, I think that fixed it. Oh, chat gives Barb genuine advice and Barb doesn't even read chat. Because I'm too busy reading your bullshit, Evergreen. Ever thought about that? Okay, so wait, do we have... Uh, we have 21 being treated. We got five hungry, but I don't know why these people are fucking hungry. We got plenty of foods. I don't know why. We got more food coming in. Four amputees. I, I'm sorry. I think an amputee could still work. I think they could still do something, right? Don't they like sew or something? <laughs> I don't know. Cooking. Why can't they cook in the kitchen? Are they amputated? You got food, not soup. Soup is food. Soup is food. Disagree. Soup is definitely food. Okay, can I turn... Okay, I'm pretty sure I could turn the heater off in some of these places. Like, this one is right next... Is right next to this heater. I don't think we need... I don't think we need the heater on there. Let's leave the heat on in the care house... Medical post. Uh, nobody's sick, I don't think. Yo. Oh, I can give them. I, I wasn't giving them extra rations, apparently. Um. Oh, so do you have to do that every time to get them not sick anymore? Water plus vegetables equal food. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much, Rising Dragon, for the resub. Appreciate that. Thank you for 29 months. Yeah, all my sick are being treated. All the sick are being treated. I kind of feel like probably another research thing might be nice. I'm also worried about coal. Uh, worried most about coal. I think our next thing is... Did I research the, uh... 
the coal thing next. Oh, we're working on it now. One of our people died. Unknown causes Florence Keppel, a worker. Okay. Man whose leg you ordered to amputate has committed suicide. He left a note. I can't live like this. Uh, unable to work and without purpose. I don't want to be a burden. Just another mouth to feed. We did what we could. Uh, you have to sign the prosthetics law within five days. What is the prosthetics law? <laughs> what? Is, where is the prosthetics law? Radical treatment care. Oh, prosthetics. Prosthesis available in the amputated prosthesis and way able to work again. Oh, okay, sure. I'm all about it. Hell yeah, dude. Sign it. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. Okay, we can now manufacture prosthesis. We have five amputees. Okay, so our scouts have reached the gloomy cave. More fucking... You know, I feel like more survivors is a real fucking burden at this point. Can you guys get the hell out of here? We don't need more fucking people making the situation worse. Uh, we can hear terrified shrieks coming from a cave uphill. When we come closer, several polar bears turn toward us, blocking the entrance. There are people trapped inside, and those beasts are picking them off one by one and feasting on them. Leave the bears alone. Uh... Risk attacking the the bears. Risk attacking the bears. When our scouts attacked the bears, people in the cave joined them, and together they drove the beasts away. Unfortunately, the scouts died from their injuries. People they saved set out toward the city, guided by a map made by the scouts. So, uh, my scouts died. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got more people. All right. 10 out of 10. Oh, rip Bozo, I guess. <laughs> so why do you do uh, employ more scouts? Rip Bozo. Create a new scout team. At least five citizens must be available. Okay, so, well, you know what? These new people that just got saved, I guess what? New scouts. <laughs> you just volunteered. Uh, food rations. What are these things doing? Functioning. Ooh, coal is getting real bad. That coal is getting real low. And the temperature is about to drop. Uh-oh. Um... Heaters off. Work time. Get back to work. Okay, so what do we have? People on coal pile, coal pile, um, wood crates, steel wreckage. Do I have any other coal piles we can be working on? I think I have no more coal piles to work on. There's really not much of a point. This is an ice age. Apparently they said something about Southern volcanoes, but they also said something about um, the sun is dimming. So in other words, things, uh, things seem kind of shit. This world seems kind of shit, man. I think we might just be getting this coal thumper just in time. Uh, Getty O Pops, thank you for the 67 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. World gone. <laughs> too many plastic. Yeah, too many. Okay, so now I can build a coal thumper. So wait, does that mean... Okay, when it says this... Um, uh, does it mean I have to put it here? 
It has to go here. Invalid placement. We'll, be, we'll block place for an important facility. But it allow. I don't understand. Those are spots for mines. So wait, hang on. What does the coal thumper do? So can I just like put the coal? Can I put it like here? Can I put it here? I thought the coal thumper would go near the coal. Can I just put it here then? Oh, okay. I suppose, um... Bar blast. Suppose let's put it near like a warm thing. Uh, thank you very much, Dat Durple. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. So we probably want to research something new. Uh, new research. Coal thumper. Exploration. We got all the heating, food, and shelter. Steelworks. Uh. So I'd have to research one of these. Does that apply for everything? Or is it is it just for this one? Need steelworks. Mines are tier one. It's, oh, it's a, oh, it's just a new tier. Okay, well, um, I guess let's upgrade to drawing boards. Uh, steel wreckage depleted. Coal thumper. You can store up to 900 coal and 300 of every resource in the other stockpiles. This resource is limited. Oh, wait, hang on. Where is the coal thumper? Coal thumpers wash coal from cracks in the rocks to the surface. You can order people to gather coal from the piles directly or employ them in gathering spots. Um, so it, it, this just produces coal? Is that what it is? It just produces coal? This game is cool. Yeah, uh, I do feel, um... I would say I'm a bit confused on some stuff still, but I mean, it's a strategy game, so it kind of makes sense. Get used to it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I've never played the game before, so obviously. I think most of my shit is pretty warm now. Most of my shit's pretty warm. That's not too bad. Uh, you never got this far. You never got this far on your first attempt. You bought this game after watching the first 10 minutes. Uh, Captain, we found a boy frozen to the bone in the cemetery next to a fresh grave. He must have been there for hours. He wants you to call an emergency meeting. He says, as you agree, his mother will wake up to attend it. Um, is there no way for me to agree? Oh, no, he say, he, he's by the grave of his mother, but his mother died. Uh, sorry. <laughs> All right, not much I can do. All right, kiddo. Alt F4. Uh, you know, we're going to have a problem here pretty soon because we're going to have more people showing up. So let me see this. Need more tents here. I need that shit too. Back to work, kid. <laughs> yeah, that's nice, kid. Get back to work. Uh, totally not TJD. Thank you for the 46 months. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Hopefully we can get this uh, coal thumper soon. Uh, boo-hoo, we all have problems. Listen, you know how hard it is to manage this city, kid? Uh, by the way, the temperature is going to drop pretty soon. So it's going to be even colder. It should be called Depression, the game. Where was my uh, storehouse? Is my storehouse like doing anything for me? Resource Depot. Uh, 
Oh, so this is now... Okay, so you have to choose what you're storing. So now it's storing the food rations. Okay, now it's storing food rations. So before it wasn't doing anything, and now it is. Okay. I, I don't know how to... I didn't know how to use it. Okay, so this requires uh, workers or engineers... Requires one worker. So why can't I tell people to work on this right now? An operative. Oh, it's because it's not adjacent to a street. Is that why? It might be. Yeah, it might be the roads is the problem. Yeah, I know I got to move the workers around. I, I just didn't. I didn't realize I didn't have roads. I think, I think that was the problem. And then we, then we need workers here. I want to bundle up and get your booties because it's going to be cold outside today. Have you tried Jurassic Park Evolution? Uh, nope, I have not. It's cold outside every day. Um, oh, is this, are the roads still fucked? We only have 11 people being treated, so that's pretty good. We played Jurassic Park Operation Genesis back in the day. It's a fun park sim. The same temperature in the game as it is outside for you. Is this what it looks like outside your window? <laughs> oh, hang on. Currently playing U.S. Winter Storm Simulation. So I think the roads are in, but for some reason I can't, um, oh, it's because I only have children available. I, th I guess the problem is that the children can't work there. So that's the issue. Uh, so let's get the workers here. Okay. That will start producing coal at some point. Good lazy kids. I know. I got some spare kids that can work there. Children yearn for the mines. So this thing, I think, will produce coal. I don't think I have to worry about temperature here because it's right next to that. So we should be okay. Should be okay on that one. Was Final Fantasy VII an inspiration? It does It does look rather like Midgard, doesn't it? There's a law that makes the kids work everywhere. I don't know. Do we really want a kid working as an engineer in a fat like like to figure out and research new shit? <laughs> I don't know if we do. Uh, wood is getting kind of bad. Uh, we may consider uh, wood is not a great situation right now, so we may want to uh, consider doing something with that. Teach him young. Coal, man, I, I hate watching my coal get this low. Don't like seeing my coal get low. Makes me a bit nervous. I'm really hoping that that, I don't know how good this coal thumper is gonna be, but here's hoping. Children of the future. What are your days that will last? Uh, it says 14 hours of coal left. <laughs> it's 14 hours of coal. And oh, by the way, also the temperature is about to, sh about to drop. Also, the temperature is about to drop. We're dead. Well, I don't know how good this coal thumper is going to be. Hopefully it helps and we're going to put more people on coal. Time for sick. Well, you know, right, right now we only have eight. We don't have that many people sick or, or not doing great. We're also going to get an influx of workers coming soon. So. 
Yeah, this is our first mission. So I, I have a question, chat. I have a question for you guys. Uh, I don't know how many people have like played the game or not. Um, is it different every time? Like, let's say I like lose and fail and everybody dies. Is it going to be different next time? Or would it be like the exact same thing happens again? Gotta keep supporting the twins. Uh, Yeti, thank you for the 53 months. Oh, it's the same scenario. Okay. Story is the same. Okay, got you. It'd be cool if it was like different every time. Okay, I want to see where everybody's working. Brace yourselves. Cold is coming. Negative 40 degrees. Okay, um, is the coal thumper working? No, not yet. It's about to start. Got 10 hours of coal left. Uh, so this is going to make going to produce coal 44.8 coal per hour is what it's going to produce so our group of survivors has reached our city they are tired they need a place to rest a bite to eat and perhaps some medical attention but they are ready to lend a hand however they can i see we have uh only two homeless that ain't bad looks like our coal situation might be okay People keep coming. Yeah. Oh, man. We have a lot of idols now. A um, whole lot of idols. Maybe I... Okay. Well, first, let's get the beacon. Where's the beacon at? Let's get the beacon rocking again. Uh, so let's go send these guys out to the steel bridge. Send scout, scouts here. Okay, so we just sent out scouts for that. Um, we researched drawing boards. Resource depot, coal mining. Uh, you know, coal mining sh maybe should be the thing we do the most. Uh, food and shelter, a hot house. A few hardy crops can be grown here, supplying raw food. Oh, wow. People in point of the medical post will heal the sick 10% faster. I think coal mining might be the biggest thing we can do. They're up 70 wood per standard day, producing 210 charcoal. So this one requires that other resource. All right, let's go do the coal mine. Let's go do that. Uh, and I'm thinking maybe we need, we definitely need more tent. I oh, don't know. No, we actually don't need more tents. I, I prepared for that. Uh, coal is kind of bad. Maybe I should build another coal thing. Another coal thumper. Maybe right here. Yeah, let's go build another one. I think. And uh, wood is becoming a problem here. I think I'm having a problem with wood. Uh, where was the wood at? Okay. We built the sawmill. Uh, not yet. I think sawmill is going to be next. I think sawmill is going to be next because wood's becoming an issue. Uh, right now, I was a bit more worried about coal. 27 months in the barb hole. No, I think we're gathering uh we're gathering coal right now, right? Uh hey Unky, thanks so much for 27 months. Furioko, so thank much. you for the resub. Thank you the very much. Yeah, we got coal pile analyzing. right here. You need to gather the coal. How does that work? Get it from the thumper? Oh, it creates coal right here. Oh. Oh, I had no idea. 
How are we hungry? We have 367 food rations. What do you mean you're hungry? How does that work? Raw food? What does that mean? Something about the storehouse? Yeah, so it creates a coal thing right outside. Nobody wants soup. How are they hungry? Soup isn't food. Soup is food! We don't have any raw food right now. You have so much coal to eat. Needs to be cooked. Uh, you know, maybe I need to build... I, I guess we need more food. Uh... I don't have any, I don't have a hunter's hut. I could make another hunter's hut for more raw food. It seems like raw food's becoming a problem. I don't understand why people are hungry. I want ramen noodles. Soup is food. It seems weird that people are hungry when I have two days of food rations. I don't understand that. I don't know, I don't get how that works. Uh, thank you very much. Razar, thank you for the resub. Appreciate that. Click it. Click what? Uh, if anybody can, if anybody understands that, I would love to know. I'd love to know. I don't understand that. This bot, only so many people can eat at one time. Kitchen is too far from their houses. Is that the issue? Uh, you know what? Let's go put it into overdrive a bit. Let's go put this into overdrive, I think. That'll help out a little bit. Keep things a little bit warmer than it was. Um, let's go build another hunter's house. Uh, let's go put it right here. Other yeah. hunter's house sounds good. This is supaganda. <laughs> I'm hungry and cold. Uh, Zelda's pleasure wand. Thank you for 65 months. Shusuke, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Okay, hunters are going out. I may have put a hundred hours in this game. It's addicting. It's been a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. Seems like for the most part, people are pretty warm. Like things are looking pretty okay. Take the food and put it in the flavorable broth. How is it no longer food? Bro, I fucking, I'm a soup defender. I love soup. I will defend soup. Okay, now people are not hungry anymore. I don't know what was going on with that. I don't know why that was a thing. I love soup, dude. Especially like a crusty bread in some soup. Oh man, that's the fucking, that is amazing. That is amazing. Not all, I'm a, I'm a, you know what? I'll, I'm a soup simp. Soup is a dip for bread. There's 5,000 different soups. I simp for soup. Hell yeah, dude. Good for what ails you? Love soup. I grew up eating tons of soup. Favorite type of soup? Ooh, I mean, I love the classics like chicken noodle, chicken and rice. Katie makes a really good tortellini soup. Uh, she also makes a really good, we call it wife soup. It's like a tomato with gnocchi soup with chicken. That's amazing. I love clam chowder. Fucking love clam chowder, dude. Um... Let's see. Coal Thumper. Did we build the other hunter's hut? We did. Uh, it's inoperative because we have no workers. Um, can I not put workers in here right now? Or is it all children? Okay, so right now it's children are working. And we need, like, not children to be hunting. Um, hunter's hut, cookhouse... 
Ah, uh, let's see. Do we need these people producing more coal? Probably not. Uh, let's go put those people working there. And uh, I think I think we're okay on... We need people gathering coal, but that's making coal. That's like a different situation. And we probably need food. Eat the children. So many people want the children to work. Although the children, I think, can do... You can, make, you can have them gathering coal and shit. That's fine. Can she, yeah, children can gather coal. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nothing, nothing wrong with a little coal. Yeah, wood's a problem. We definitely need the sawmills for sure. Law time. Oh, that's true. It is a law time. All right, let's see. What's our new law that everybody's going to hate? <laughs> Fighting arenas. Evening bouts will reduce content. You have to build a fighting arena. Uh, child labor, all jobs. Triage. Uh, one quarter of patients will die instantly. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Let's get the, uh, the fighting arena. Let's do that. Fighting arena sounds good. New law. A new law has passed. Build a fighting arena. I didn't hear no bell. Ding, ding. Children, can we make the children fight each other? <laughs> uh, let's see. Put the children in the cookhouse. They can work there. Uh, we're almost done researching the coal mining. Child fights. Child fights. Yeah. Uh, Corso, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Put me in, coach. I heard the supreme ruler is going to make us fight for our cool rations. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, a lot of sick people. Thunderdome time? I know, we need the sawmill for sure. Uh, that's going to be the next priority. We're already gathering. This is the only place for me to get wood. Uh, we're going to build the sawmill next. So we're still working in overdrive here. Three kids versus the amputee. Who wins? Place your bets. Okay, work time. It's actually gonna warm up pretty soon. <laughs> Coal mining researched. Okay, uh, let's take a look at our research. Yeah. Resource depot, sawmill upgrade. Allows you to introduce workplace improvements that will reduce the increase the efficiency of all sawmills and steam sawmills. Uh, you know what? Sure, let's go ahead and do that. And uh, we want to build the sawmill as soon as we can. I need, oh, you know what? And there we go. All right, let's put that there. We're out of wood. Uh, thank you very much, Sonzer, for the 500 bits. Corso, thanks to bits. KWSX, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Okay, so we depleted the wood crates just in time because now we've got the sawmill going to go up here. We're going to need that badly. Hmm? Someone's going to be near those frozen trees. Uh, so the sawmill is here and there's frozen trees right here. So I guess that's not too far. I mean, I don't know. 
What's up, uh, Metal Vini Solid? Thank you for the 36 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Is that not going to work out? A pretty bad placement for it. I mean... I don't know. Fuck you, I guess. <laughs> what do you want from me? Well, I don't know how it works. We'll figure it out. I could always deconstruct it and build a new one. Uh, let's go turn this off of overdrive. Yeah, we're going to turn that off of overdrive. We just had another thing depleted. I wish I could have these people, like, build this now. Like, go work this now. Discontent rises! Yeah, can I, can I not do this now? Yeah. Uh, Alburo Chan, thank you for the bits. Appreciate it. Please overload, Bob. My hands are so cold. <laughs> Don't make me work anymore. <laughs> uh, it says functioning. Uh, Alburo Chan, thanks for the bits. Appreciate it. Thank you, dude. We have a lot of idle children. Um,. I guess go tell the kids to go get the steel. It's been a good time of watching your first play through this. What's up, Mr. Bloodborne? How's it going? Yeah, we had too many idle children. We also have a lot of uh, idle workers and stuff, but uh, I don't really know what else to put them on. What else can I, what else can I put them on? I don't have much else. I All I have left is this pile here. Oh, is nobody working on this coal thumper thing? School. Okay, there we go. At least, at least we're all gathering something. Okay, so we researched the sawmill. It's going to be more efficient. Oh, hey, we, we know what? We just got the sawmill rocking. Okay, please uh, get to work on the sawmill as fast as you can. Because we desperately need wood. More amputees coming right up. We have six amputees. Uh, it says I need like a factory or something. A brass black on the uh, plaque on the bridge leads uh, built by the people of Winterhome in AD 1887. <laughs> the bridge is kept completely snow free by a working automaton. Explore. We stopped at the edge of a deep, wide ravine, marveling at the steel bridge spanning it. Even more so, the huge automaton sweeping snow from the roadway. Also, send the machine back to our city or disassemble it for resources. Um. So, what is this automaton gonna do? So it gives me the automaton will safely reach our city on its own or we could dismantle it. I mean, I kind of want to see what it does. Let's send it to the city. We programmed the automaton and sent it on its way as it disappeared in the distance, walking slowly toward the city. The first wisp of snow started to settle on the bridge. Okay. Um, weather station or large convoy. Uh, all right. Let's send them to the weather station, I guess. See what they got over there. Yeah, I don't know what that does. Finding the bridge to a winter home proved that they're on the right track, but raised questions. Why was the bridge deserted? Why was the automaton under the care of an engineer? There are logical explanations to it all, but people are growing anxious. Okay. Hope has fallen. <laughs> you know what? I'm doing my fucking best, people. I'm doing my goddamn best here. Jesus, man. bad food cold at home so that's causing discontent to uh go up Jeez, these fucking people man please stop giving us soup and give us real food overlord bod 
Uh, so wait, so it says people are cold at home. There's a lot of tents here. Okay, you know what? Let's build another um, steam hub. I feel like the, the, the steam hubs, you don't want them too close together, right? Well, either I, regardless, I have to wait until we get more wood. Soup is food, goddammit. Soup is food. Uh, Ash and Hearth, thank you for the 18 months. Thank you very much. I, I, I will stand on business here. Stoop, soup is food. <laughs> Medical post, sawmill. Did this, um... Yeah. Did this gather any wood for me? Or was it too late in the day? Did that make any wood for me? Or no? Before we discard of amputated limbs, would you consider... Wait, can, oh, is this producing no wood for me because it's not near I'm a thing? Brewing in my cauldron. Is that why? If we don't reveal what the mystery it's out of is, range. It could raise morale. Damn it, dude. So then what do I have to do here? Dismantle building plus eight wood. I don't know. So I guess, do I have to put the sawmill over here or something? Damn it, dude. Soup is people, workers are just lazy. Uh, add some streets and relocate it. But my problem is like, I don't have enough wood though. So like, if I don't have enough wood to build the sawmill, how do I get more wood? Well, it let me build it there. I thought it was going to be fine. Uh, Corso, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Yeah, things are not looking so yeah. great. Okay, so that's gone. You have 10 wood. Well, that's not really a meal, Barn. I mean, if you have gotten chicken gumbo or matzo ball or mushroom barley. Okay, I, I see now. I understand. Those so if I put it like suits. here, that will work. Now, uh, the problem with doing this is that it's on its fucking own, completely on its own. Um, I have to build a street. I don't have a street, though. But what happens if I don't have a street? Let's just go with this for now. Because it, they will gather this. They will gather this. I don't have I don't have a choice. Since I last ate a real meal. The pain in my stomach never ceases. Stop whining. All I hear are the yells from our overload saying soup is food. <laughs> uh Arithos, thank you for the tier three fifty one months. <laughs> soup is food. Uh, the weather's about to warm up, which is kind of nice. The crumble any crackers in it. <laughs> uh, what does this say? All of the city must connect to the generator, otherwise they won't fuck to build the street, open the construction panel. Okay, so everything has to be connected. Yeah, that makes Oh no no no, that, that's not it. There was another thing. Area effects are two types of building with area effect. Ah, oh, I see now. Okay, gotcha. House of prayer. Yeah, it's it's uh it's a bit nippy outside. We don't use crumbled crackers in our soup. Pray the hunger away. That's a cold city. It's a fucking cold world, man. I'm doing the best I can. I have plenty of food rations. Can we like spend some extra rations here? Give us some extra rations. Let's get these sick out of here, man.
okay so close this time of day really hoping this sawmill pr can produce some wood because no wood is uh really not good Are we researching? We're not researching he was, anything. He was desperate with hunger and reckless with misery. He rose from the table and advancing to the master, basin and spoon in hand, said, somewhat alarmed at his own temerity, please, sir, I want some more. So this costs wood to research, so I can't do that. Everything, co I can't even research anything. Um, yeah, everything requires wood right now, so... I am pretty much walled yeah. out from doing something because I need wood. We, we like really, really need wood right now. Going to infect myself with the flu so I can get yeah. a double ration. Please get wood. A child's course in life should be determined not by the zip code she's born in, but by the strength of her work ethic. Get back to work soup as food. <laughs> uh, Sanzer, thanks so much for the bits. Appreciate that. Uh, Schmitty, thank you for the bits. Appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Get moving. Yeah. Hello, Mr. King. Sir. I'm here at the fighting pit, ready to fight for my food. By the way, who's my opponent? Hello, boy. <laughs> Are we gonna finally- Oh my god, we're making wood! We're finally making some wood. Supreme Ruler, rather than using extra rations on the sick, might you consider culling them and adding them to the soup instead? All right, got people coming back with food. Uh, Corso, thanks to Bits. Farting Spaniard, thanks to Bits. Sonder, thanks to Bits. Schmitty, thanks to Bits. Moby Doo, thanks to the tier three, 45 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Oh, scouts have reached the weather station. Uh, there's nobody in the weather station, but everything seems operational. Uh, we could try yeah. to find out what the scientists were working on. Mm, I guess let's go ahead and take the resources. And let's go bring you guys back. Day 62. Still cold in sub-zero temperatures and low on food. As I stare into my soup, I reminisce when I could go to Smash Burger and get a double barbecue bacon cheddar burger with applewood smoked bacon anytime I wanted. All right, now, now you're making my ass hungry. Windy Fion, thanks to 500 bits. Now you're fucking making me hungry. Uh, recent reports uh, has got people talking. They're frightened that such an important facility has apparently abandoned. People, some are starting wondering whether the evacuation from London was a good idea. A few were lamenting openly. I knew we shouldn't have come. At least London had real houses, not tents and wooden shacks. We'll have answers soon enough. Hope falls. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. Y'all some fucking needy bitches. As right, so we are producing wood, thankfully. Um, I can probably, all right, let's get engineers back to work in the workshop and, uh, we can research something. Wall drill, drills on the walls of our crater, uncovering trees. So this is, you need this for the hope. wall. I remember when I had hope. So that makes steel. Let's get the medical post. Oh, no, I can't afford that either right now. Heating, range upgrade. I guess I'll wait another minute or so. I want to make... I've got so many people fucking sick all the time. I'd like to make people get healed faster. That would be good. Uh, What's the goal here? This game needs a plugin that automatically names your residents after chat members. That would be pretty funny. Have I built a coal mine yet? I have not built a coal mine now. No coal mine yet. Uh, we are finally getting some more wood. I feel like I should make maybe another uh, sawmill thing. 
because uh, we're really, really bad on wood. Maybe I should make another one of those. What's up, Waymer Wally? How's it going, dude? Can I research uh, faster healing, please? Uh, medical post upgrade. Yes, faster healing would be great. Put the sick in the arena. So we have uh, four idle engineers. Stockpiles. Oh, so we have uh, we have stock. Uh, I don't know. So we have some stockpiles. We have no steel coming in. I guess I can go send those engineers to go get some steel. Uh, people are finally being treated, so that will help keep people not sick. I still don't know what the uh, the mech is going to do for me. I have no idea on that. Uh, it looks like it's going to get cold again fairly soon. What's up, Nexus? How's it going? Clear snow? Uh, the snow gets clear when you build the heating stuff automatically. Um, I think I kind of want to expand this way for now. More amputees? Okay, how do I fucking... So I have seven fucking amputees who are just dead weight. Uh, do I have... Do I have a uh, fuck... I need to build prosthetics for them. Could you just, like, get a piece of wood and, like, duct tape it on or something? Good luck with this game. Uh, thanks, dude. There's gotta be something I can do with these people, right? Add them to the soup. Cool tip not say to gather a coal with gathering posts like two or something. Oh, okay. They really want me to build a fighting arena. Apparently, they really want me to. I, you know, we should really do that. Um... All right, let's get the fighting arena. Let's go build that, I guess. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Maybe that will make people a little happier. Uh, I can also pass a law. The dueling law. This discontent will be reduced permanently. Each spontaneous duel will slightly reduce content. Sometimes people die. public house that sounds good let's go get the public house hear me, hear me. New law in the city. sure fighting range lead to prosthetics advancements both in more subjects and design pub house let's go uh thank you Borgar, for the 100 bits appreciate it man Okay, so they're still coming back. This one's closed at this time of day. I, I feel like I really, really need more, um, need another sawmill. And I could build another one closer here. I'd have to expand that way though. We're gonna have to wait and kind of save up wood if we can. Should've waited till hope was low for the pub house. Well, I mean, I feel like so far we're doing pretty well, you know? Oh, hope rises because we built the fight house. Oh, nice. Okay, so where did the where did the fight house go again? Where was that? Hannah Brinkhurst and Rachel Mustin are gonna fight. <laughs> These people are gonna fight, I guess. We love fighting. Meow. <laughs> Can we watch? Uh, I guess people are showing up to watch. Zoom in. This is as far as you can zoom in on this game. Are people going to freeze to death to see the fight house? Mod they are! They are going to get, like, frozen to fucking death at the fight house. God damn it. It's so stupid. Well, we're standing in seven feet of snow and it's fucking cold as shit, but let's, let's watch. Oh, there, there's the fighting. <laughs> there it is. People like it, though. 
<laughs> Look at this guy in the snow. Look at this guy in the snow. <laughs> like a hockey yeah. game. Uh, Spork Boots, thank you for the bits. Appreciate it. Let the bloodthirst warm your blood. I think I want to put a sawmill here. It would also help warm up like this. It would like probably like here and some more tents and shit. Although we don't really need tents right now. We only have 15 sick, which isn't too bad. Oh, so like the more people live near the fight arena, the more happy they'll be. So if they live near a fighting arena, they'll be pretty happy with that, I guess. Okay, well, that's, that's pretty good, I suppose. More houses around the fighting arena. Is it wrestling time? I'm really curious what the spider mech is going to be. I have no idea on that one. Okay, well, I mean, so far it seems like things are going okay. I want to turn up the heat. Uh, well, uh, let's see, temperature map right now. Most of the houses are pretty warm. Uh, most things are pretty warm right now. It's not too bad. I kind of want something here or here because probably our next bet, we need another sawmill and I want to get a sawmill that's going to be in like a good spot. The only reason I'm not doing it right now is because we only have 22 wood, so. Uh, Brutus Maximus, thank you for the Afternoon 42 months. Bar. Happy New Year. Yo, thanks so much. Happy New Year, dude. A little soup and you're good to go. Hey, you know what? These people are eating more than I have today. I haven't eaten shit today. They're eating more than I am. Always need more wood. I can go for some fucking soup right now. Have some soup. That I don't have any fucking soup. Sounds like a you problem. Does the soup come with a roll? <laughs> The soup isn't food. Onion soup is so good. You want stew? Time to order Panera. Ah, I, the Panera is a scam. No, oh, thank you. All right, I do have, also have to build a public house. It requires 20 wood, 10 steel. I'm going to try to delay that. I got some time. Um, So, kind of, we wanted it kind of close to the arena um that way we can war i'd like to warm up so like okay let's see maybe like here if i put it here somewhere around here it can heat up the fighting arena houses and the sawmill i want to i want to i want to have my cake and eat it too Put that there for the road. Build the, build the second sawmill first. Build the second sawmill before I build the heater. I mean, either way, I don't think it matters too much. It's going to be more or less the same situation here. Why is a fighting arena a priority? I mean, it really wasn't, but it makes people happier. So. Cake soup. We're building our roads. Um, I was going to put this here. And uh, that will help warm up that, I believe. That's a lot of coal you're not picking up. Might be some way. What do you mean? I got, we're working on coal. So I got the coal thumpers are working right now. And I got, they're, they're, they're pretty much all working on it. And they're getting it right now. So we got food coming in. Scouts have returned. You can disarm the scouts or send them back out into frost land. Uh, all right, hang on. Let's go look at our scouts. Coal mine, winter home, large convoy. Uh, I guess let's go to the large convoy. It's going to take them a long time to reach that. Take their ass a long time to reach that. Um, what does this, uh, what does the steam hub cost? 
20 steel. Okay, let's just build the steel, the, the hub. And we'll have that there. And that should, uh, that should reach all that. Uh, Waymert Wally, thank you for the 42 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Ooh, the wood is, wood is rising. I like to see that. Wood is rising. I like to see that. That's good shit. Thank you, Waymer. So it looks like bad food is affecting content here for sure. He likes it too. Got to pass a carbon tax. Uh, thank you, Waymer. Thank you, Brutus Maximus. Really appreciate the 42 months. Thanks, guys. All right. Well, I got to say that so far after playing this game for a couple hours, really liking this game. This is really cool. Digging it. Very, very cool so far. So wood, uh, the amount of wood is definitely going up. That's good shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's fun at first. I mean, I'm sure at some point things are, I feel like we've already kind of seen things kind of go kind of bad. fuck is this automatons the automatons can replace entire crews at most workplaces they are produced in the factory and work 24 hours a day their initial efficiency six percent but be raised with research so an automaton will just work all fucking day Uh, our first automaton is operational. They will help our economy greatly. Automatons will replace entire manual labor crews. They work around the clock with short breaks to refuel at the generator. We can research upgrades to raise their efficiency. I see. Okay. Sick. Um, for mankind's greatest creation. So the way. Okay. So that's awesome. Really good. They took our germs. <laughs> uh workshop basically oh so that's the thing here let's go build the sawmill here that's gonna carry that's gonna cover all this wood right there go build that there too These kids are never gonna learn a good work ethic now You can have them working in cold. Yeah, they can just work in cold areas. Bro, this game is so cool. Oh, sick. So now my people are going to get healed faster. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Uh, let's see. What do we got? More scouts. Resources. Heating. We can raise the temperature in all heat zones by a level, but that that uh, the problem with that is that it doesn't help us. So all this stuff is going to require more and more and more coal. We could have double scout teams. Um, this would be another thing that could produce more uh, of that. Bunkhouse dwelling for 10 people that is adequately protected from the weather. A bunkhouse could be nicer than having these tents. I could probably turn off something. How do you upgrade the robot? It's probably down here somewhere, I would guess. I don't know. I'm uh, I'm conflicted here. Well, charcoal cans use the you uh to char up 70 wood to produce 210 coal. I don't we don't really want to do that. Why don't we go research the steel work? We haven't done that yet. Yeah, let's go get the steel work. We haven't done that yet. Let's go do that. I don't think there's going to be a great time to do that because steel is not super necessary, right? At least not right now, so. Did I learn anything from Lies of P? Wasn't it Vanini? Vanini Steelworks, right? We have uh, an idle... Uh, an idle engineer somewhere, and the idle that guy. He's under construction. Yeah, Vanini, right? Similar vibes. 
Is this thing gonna help build this? That'd be pretty cool if it could. I like that it leaves little footsteps too. Uh, so is, is nothing happening at the, I guess I just want people at the cookhouse all the time. Wood is looking nice. Oh, okay, is he building it now? Oh, hell yeah, he is. All right, sick. I could go for a panini. I could go for fucking anything. I'm starving. Open the pub. Yeah, he's building 24 7. Okay, so things are looking pretty okay. Oh, I can sign a new law. All right, let's take a look at our laws. House of Pleasure, Moonshine. Uh, give people a bit of liquor now and then to soothe their aching bodies. Eating soup causes less discontent. Every meal lowers this. All right, guys, get some moonshine. It's moonshine time. People get some alcohol every day to cheer them up. Wood is rising in the pleasure house. Soup is food. I like, yeah. Oh, all of a sudden we like soup, huh? Oh, I think we got some fightings about to start here. Okay, so I can put the automaton. I'm gonna put the automaton here on the wood. And I'll just have it here working. Be working all night, I guess. I guess the... I didn't know what the automaton did, but now that we have that. That's pretty sick. It's just going to work there nonstop. Neat. Did you do Three Kingdoms survival mode vibes? Any chance for another playthrough one day? Oh, Three Kingdoms? Oh, maybe. You know, the last time I played Three Kingdoms, the game was incredibly glitchy, man. And it kept crashing on me. So it kind of... Um, it was a bit frustrating, though. So. Uh, maybe we should build another hunter. Do you guys think another hunter's thing could be called for? Or maybe some more hunter's things? I don't know. The robot is great. Yeah, it's working. Let's play Three Kingdoms and watch my viewer numbers tank. Yeah, because we, we have food rations, but we have no raw food. So maybe we should build another one of those. I did not play uh, Pharaoh. I did not play Pharaoh. Okay, let's go build that. I was going to get raw food for a morale boost. Keep your people alive just as happy as I can to keep working. I think things are like mostly going okay. Give the child laborers alcohol. Uh, Hunter's hut. It's probably gonna be another, oh, the other thing that I, I think the other thing to look at food. What am I, I don't know what I'm researching right now. The steel mill, I think the, uh, there's another thing for food. That's like a grow house. You can like start like getting crops and stuff. So probably gonna want that. I'll call soup. Pharaoh got a lot of slack for being buggy, apparently, so he didn't miss much. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I heard not great things about Pharaoh overall, so, um. Heard it wasn't great. Uh, when's the public house due? We have two days left to build the public house. Um, I should be under people. Is this thing, it says base heating level two. Um, kind of wonder where I should put this. Maybe over here? Around here somewhere? Might try spreading it out. Like maybe right here. It's, it's gonna be... I feel like this side's kind of cold. Let's just keep it near the warm shit. There's like a warm thing right here. Let's just put it right here. 
pub is close to the arena? Yeah, we'll put it right next to it, I guess. It's going to be right here. Public. Pub by the fight house. Make more warm shit. Okay, so we have another hunter's hut is active. Kind of need more, uh, more people, I think. Okay, I can take these engineers off of... Well, I mean, they're kind of gathering coal. We need coal, too. You know, let's... Uh, where's my other sawmill at? Where's my other sawmill? Is this it? Take them off wood. I'm going to put them here on food. Music is quite... Yeah, this game's got nice music, right? I think we're kind of good on wood for now. Oh, check it out. Uh, patience. There's only three patients here. I only have nine sick people. There's no patients here. So you guys don't need to be... I see those doctors slacking off in there. Let's get those guys out of here. There are no patients in this, uh, in this thing. up now all oh now all of a sudden they start showing up oh now all of a sudden the patients start filing in huh what do you know okay so if you want the public house you have to have people working there public house has been erected in accordance with the new law Poor anxious let off steam in the new uh, house of respites. Okay, so that that was good for people. Got some uh, five people working in there. Six people there. Care house. Hmm. Medical posts. I don't have nobody's in this. We we only have thirteen sick. Yeah, dude, I've got all these engineers. I kind of wish the engineers would only go in there when somebody's actually sick, because, like, there's nobody sick. Like, they're basically, like, freeloading. Um. Yeah. Who would give birth in this game? Uh, you know, maybe that happens eventually. I don't know. Another research lab that would probably make research go faster. Um, you have an idle scout party? Uh, no, no, I only have the one. Only the one. Okay, so this one is no longer working because we got all the trees here. So this one is not working anymore. Um, how do you dismantle? Is there a way to dismantle? Okay, dismantle this building. It's not working for us anymore. All right, we got all the trees there. Well, we kind of had to do that though. We didn't really have a great choice. Um, so now that we did that, what do we really need right now? More coal? Already working on coal. Storage limit reached. Oh, wow. So they... We can't make a bigger coal pile here. So we have to take them off of that. We literally... We can't get more coal out of that. Damn. This fucking game, dude. There's a lot of shit to manage in this fucking game. <laughs> There's a lot of shit. Coal mine, steel works. We can make uh, this... Maybe a, let's maybe another workshop. Fuck okay, it, let's make another workshop. All right, get another workshop going. Uh, so the robot is operating the sawmill for now. Not using solar and wind power in a glacier. Well, they said the sun is dimming. Well, whatever that means. 
Sun is dimming. The storage limit is reached. That means I can take these people off of that. Do I have another... Do I have another hunter's place that's not... Put those guys on hunting. So you really have to move your people around like a lot. Like you're not... It isn't like a simple like, oh, okay, set him and forget him. Like you gotta, you gotta keep going with them a lot. Sweat shock, please, him, Lord. The children yearn for labor. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Shmee, for the 21 months. Really appreciate that. Thank you, Mr. Shmee. Got plenty of wood now. And the arrow buttons on buildings go to the next of that type. Uh, so if I, so like, let's say I'm here at a, a hunter, and if I press the Eh, no, that's not how it works. Wait, how do you uh, check the next? Oh, I see. Okay. Got you. Then I can check all of those. Patrons. How's our uh, temperature looking? Temperature seems pretty good. Uh, this medical post is uh, really cold. But there's also nobody there. I'm hoping we can get some more people. That's what I'm hoping for. This is a Marvel's game. No, this is a game I wanted to play for a really long time. I wanted to play this game for a long time. And I'm finally glad I did. Okay, we're not, uh, we need to research something. We're not researching anything. Glad I did. More scouts, resources. Bunkhouse, hothouse. Let's build hothouses uh, so you can grow crops here. Let's research the hothouse because that might really help. That might really help with food. Let's go get that. Yeah, apparently they're coming out with a sequel of this game. I'm immediately interested in that. Oh, so wait, is this? Chat, did having two of these, did this speed up my research? Is that what that did? I'm like fairly certain that's what that did. Is that what that did? Okay, cool. Hothouses can make vegetable soup. More vegetables for soup. I have 14 idle engineers and six idle workers. Um, haven't been able to watch much, but wanted to use my prime sub here. Hey, remember to use your prime sub chat. On Vaz, thank you so much, dude. Thank you for the 25 months. I really appreciate that. Thank you, dude. Um, So I think our next bet is to make the uh, grow house thing. And we're gonna research that. That'll be done researching fairly soon. Uh, thank you very much, Anvaz. Thank you, Miss uh, M Mediocre Guy for the 24 months. Thank you, Mr. Shmee. I suppose I could also move this thing. I could, can I wonder if I could send the automaton to pick up? Oh, you, uh, you can send the automaton just pick up coal the entire time. I don't think we really need wood. Let's turn that off and let's put the automaton to go gather this coal. I think that's going to be better. Thank you for the good content. Oh, you're welcome. I don't think we really need more wood. Yeah, the temperature is about to drop pretty bad. I know we got a lot of slackers. Um, the slacking, I think, will stop. Um, put those there. I think the slacking is going to stop when we get the grow houses grown. We get some more raw food from that. I think that'll help a lot. It's kind of hard to. It's kind of hard to know. Dealing with idols is kind of hard. We don't need more wood. That what she said. Uh, TSP, thank you for the 25 months. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate that. 
Yeah, there's fighting in the arena. I think fighting just happened in the arena. Slacking will continue until morale improves. It seems like right now the thing that's really affecting people is bad food. That seems to be the, the primary negative thing. Also, people have been pissed off because they haven't heard information about whatever else is going on, so... That apparently has also been a thing. Steelworks? Uh, yeah, I do need a steelworks. We are running out of steel. That's a good point. Um... So it has to be here. It has to be here. Right here. Okay, we'll get that going soon. Got to be there. It's a little bit far. It's a little bit out in fucking space right now. So we'll, we'll wait on that just a bit. Scouts have reached the large convoy. This is a convoy carrying workers that got lost in a blizzard. They are weak and have no provisions. Listen to the story, story and escort them to our village. Uh, let's go escort them back. Let's go bring them back. Okay, so we're going to have a nice influx of workers coming in soon. Um, you can probably expand and put another heating thing over here. And then from there, build the metal works. Uh, how much is the... What does the heating thing cost? Oh, we don't have enough steel for that. Um, we're probably going to get some people sick then. All right, let's slap down the steelworks. I guess if nothing else, I could have the robot work in the steelworks, right? Because that, that'll be fine, right? Nothing else. Did you make the arena? I did make the arena. Citizens of the Empire. Welcome to the arena. <laughs> by Azura, by Azura, by Azura. You find out who won the battle in the arena. I, uh, we already got the road. Road's going down. You're the grand champion. Time is the orgy. Tonight is robot versus 35 children. <laughs> uh, let's see. Back tomorrow. Of course, the arena works for anyone who will still be in the arena. Soup is food. I want like a propaganda poster, like a Soviet era propaganda poster. And it's like, it's my, the thing says soup is food. <laughs> I don't want that. 30 children take out an eagle in the arena. I think that temperature is about to drop real soon. Real, real soon. We're gonna finish constructing this, and then I'm gonna swap the robot here and then put these people back to work over there. Okay, let's go finish this up. I feel like we're gonna have some sick real soon. Okay, let's go put the uh, automaton is going to go off that. We're going to put the automaton to work here. Let's go put the children to work gathering coal. And uh, so the automaton is going to be working on the steel. Uh, I have time for a new law. Take a look. House of Pleasure... Prostitutes can lower discontent. Hope will fall. The 
emergency shift. Triage. Let's go get the uh, ceremonial funerals. Let's go do that. That seems pretty neutral. So I've got five yeah. idle engineers right now. Go put them there. We're pro I feel like we're probably gonna have those uh, those people are gonna be pissed off. Since my lips touched solids, I have removed my teeth for I no longer need them. All I know now is that soup is food. <laughs> Crimson Air, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. We found an exhausted man at the edge of our city. He said that he came from Winterhome, a settlement located not far from here, and that he was the last survivor. Winterhome is dead. Everyone's dead. There's no hope for survival in this accursed wasteland. You're all doomed. You must escape. Those were his last words. So we're alone. The news has shocked everyone in the city. There are supposed to be many settlements and construction crews here, people living normal lives in homes heated by generators, but we're alone. Hope falls. Coming here was a fool's errand. We should go back. How are we supposed to survive if they didn't? They're all dead. Whoa! This place is the deadly trap. We need to get out of here. Hey, things are going okay. What the fuck? People riot? They're all dead. How will we survive here without any help? We have to go back to London. There's no hope for us here in this frozen desert. People start to gather as news of winter home spreads through the city. Some of them want to drop in and flee to London. Panic is starting to set it. I must give them purpose. Choose our path. People are shaken, racked by fear and doubt. They've lost all hope in our chance of survival. Desperation could quickly push them to commit reckless acts. You have to unite them behind a vision of the future. Decide now. We'll give them purpose and restore hope. Or else we will descend into the chaos that consumed winter home. A new set of laws will become available. Faith and spiritual strength or order and discipline. Order and discipline. I choose order and discipline. Watchtowers. I'm shocked. <laughs> okay, sign it. Order and discipline. New law. Okay, where are okay watchtowers? I'm gonna slap that shit there. You fucking boo me, bitches. Get that going here. Rebel, 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 rebel. Uh, hang on. Sir, you convinced the majority, but hope is low. A group of our people are still so scared they want to flee to London in 15 days. They've come to try to change your mind. You say order will save us? Nonsense. What are we going to do? Does, what are we going to... Uh, what? Are we going to orderly decide who to eat first when we start to starve? Don't try to reach run and wind up like winter home. Calm down. We're not going to die. Your people are divided. Some of them are so scared they plan to leave the city for London in 15 days. They'll try to convince others to join them, preying on their discontent. Fear may leave, lead people to desperate. I maintain peace, give people hope, and manage discontent to guide the, guide the city safely through the looming social crisis. Don't let the Londoners uh, disrupt the city. Those fucking Londoners. What a bunch of fucking pricks. Oi. You fucking London pricks. God, I hate London. <laughs> All right, so we got watchtowers are going to go up. 
Me brandy snaps. A citizen has become gravely ill. Give me some solid. You know what? That's a good idea. How about where's the uh, where's the cookhouse? Uh, let's swap it over to. Uh, we're gonna swap over to standard meals. Standard meals. Standard meals. You got a license. <laughs> this new game or an old game? I think this game uh, came out. Uh, when did this game come out? Soup for everybody. It's, it's not that old. It's kind, is it kind of old? Is it really? 2018? Oh, okay. 2018 to me was like a year ago, but I think it's, it's not. It was uh, not quite. Okay, we researched the hot house. Hi, Daddy Barb. I'm having open heart surgery on the 25th, and there's a chance I won't come out of it alive. So do me a favor and make sure your girls are the change you want to see in the world. Much Holy love shit. from my family to yours, Barb. Uh, Barb love, Barb love. Felines, thank you for the 10 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. that. Shit's scary. I went through that a couple times with my grandfather, but uh, I'm sure you'll be fine. Uh, you know, keep a step up for lip. And uh, yeah, good luck, dude. Uh, thank you so much, Feline. I'm sure I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm sure you'll be fine. Uh, thank you so yeah. much for the uh, 10 months. Uh, QB Bob, thanks for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Yeah, our Give thoughts are with you, man. Uh, we can build a hothouse. Oh, the hothouse requires steam cores. Oh. Uh, oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Okay, it is very fucking cold over here. Probably gonna want something over here, too. It is pretty fucking cold on this side. If you use our first steam core, steam core is an assist necessary component in advanced technology. We can't manufacture steam cores in the city. Let's hope our scouts find them. Okay, so that's like a really rare thing. Really rare, it seems. Um... So the, the steel mills are really slow, it turns out. They're pretty slow, huh? Okay. Uh, let's see. Resources, uh, health, people. Wait, it's tech is what we want. So I don't have enough steel. I want to build another thing here. So it's going to be very cold over there, apparently. Yeah, best wishes, Felines Anonymous slow but infinite they don't yeah it's just a bit slower than you would think that's all but at least we're getting you know it's probably good that we're getting constant steel from that though honestly it's probably pretty good uh more scouts heating let's go uh generator this one's gonna be raise temperature in all heat zones by one More scouts. Let's go more scouts. I'm gonna go more scouts. More people are concerned about the low temperatures in their homes. Uh, let's heat, heat all the homes. Sure. Here at least livable conditions in homes, zero to 17. Okay, we've had this situation before. I thought, I'm sorry, are there, are these homes too cold right now? It's a little chilly, but is that, is that really it? Chili is not, chili is not livable? How is chili not livable? We're out of steel. Chili is livable. Like it's it chill, but it's chilly. What chili? Chili is livable. Soup is food. Chili is livable. All right. Chili is deadly. Soup is food. Chili is livable. 
Chili is soup. I'm just gonna build more of these fucking things. We're gonna have more people arriving very soon, which is gonna be nice. Okay, good shit. I just built a uh, grow house. Oh, all right. Let's, uh, where's my watchtowers at? Put five workers on the watchtower. Oh, I have a, I have a fuckload of homelessness now too. Son of a bitch. My problems. Okay, so we raised, we got watchtowers. So people apparently like to be watched. We just put a warm thing here. Um. Let's see. Put a tent here. And uh, tent here, tent there, and I got to attach them via roads. Uh, that wood went down real quick. Okay, I think the road should be covered. It's all pretty close to this uh, temperature thing, too. Oh, hang on. All right. Let's send these out. D hang on. <laughs> One second. <laughs> Soup is food. <laughs> Soup is food, goddammit. Soup. I told you guys, soup is food. <laughs> the Ministry of Propaganda works fast. <laughs> oh, hang on. Here's, uh, we just had another one in. <laughs> I don't know how many of these we're going to get. <laughs> Listen, soup is food. It is. Soup is food. Soup is super good. Food is food. Soup is food. <laughs> All right. We're jumping back in. Uh, let's see. So we've got winter home, coal mine. All right. It's going to take them a fucking long ass time to get there. Two days. Go ahead. Um... I need a whole lot of coal. We got more food coming in. Oh, where was my, uh, this is the grow house. Let's put workers to work here. And it's too cold to work in this building. So I'll tell you what, let's go build another, build another fucking one of these. I can't build a steam hub because we don't have enough steel yet. Probably save occasionally. Uh, if I not saved at all, save game. Oh, it's been auto saving, but uh, sure. Name your save file. Soup is food. <laughs> Just <do them>. Okay. Okay, once we get these, uh, we'll get these people back working again. That should help out a lot. Oh, did this guy, he stop working on the steel to go help build this shit? Is that what he did? The tents will definitely help out here a lot. Nobody can work here because it's way too fucking cold. Uh, I need more. I need another steam thing here to have that go. Need another steam thing here. Uh, the amount of sick is rising tremendously. 
Oh boy, it's gonna be, apparently it's gonna be cold for like a while. Apparently it's gonna be cold for a while. Uh, things are not looking great. Things are not looking great. Are they getting down with the sickness? Uh, can we go? I don't, I kind of don't want to go into overdrive either because we're kind of low on, on, uh, coal. Uh, let's see. People who want to leave Helena essentially urge their friends and neighbors to join them. People are more easily persuaded because they have little hope in their situation. I see. So not enough. Uh, let's see. What do we need? Okay. I can build a steam hub here. Um, try to warm up these homes. All right. Put another steam hub here, I guess. Uh, other cities may have fallen, but not London. It's impossible. Okay. Yeah, hope and stuff is uh, not great. Hope is not great right now. So, yeah, let's go get... Uh, we need more people working this uh, coal here. Close at this time of day. Some people rocking that coal. Some idols here. If I, I want to get this part warm too, so we can start growing food there. Uh, we'll build another tent over here too. Although we actually are, uh, we need wood. Winter's hot. Resource. Airhouse. Man, I'm like I'm like bouncing from one thing to the next. It's not. A, it's not enough. So anyway, this game is uh difficult, isn't it? This is not uh not an easy game. Alright, let's get that uh let's get some wood rocking again. We need that. This is not a this is not an easy game by any means. The Londoners, there are 31 Londoners right now. And they said there's uh I still have not got livable conditions in ho homes. So we need more of these. So like, what is fucking livable then? Yeah. So like, wait, even with this thing right next to it, it's not enough. You know what brings people hope? Soup. Even with that. <laughs> so wait, so how do I make them any fucking warmer then? I've got a steam vent right next to it. So what? That's not enough. There you go. Hey, I turn on. Let's run a little overdrive here. There you go. How about that, bitch? You fucking happy now? Maintain livable conditions in homes. How about that? Hey, there you go. There you go. Turn up the little generator there. Let's get a little heat rocking. Just maintain it for, uh, was it for like two days it wants me to maintain it? They're all gathering coal. Um, we need another uh, another home. More homes. One more home here should help. Excuse the over. I mean, I don't really have much of a fucking choice, do I? I don't think I really need more steel right now. Hmm? Other home you can't heat. Well, at least a home I can't heat is still a fucking home. Still need something. We got a lot of homeless. Uh, I've got four idols. Um, 
Through our child club, the generator slipped and fell but was thankfully caught by a neighborhood watch member who was on control nearby. He then escorted the child to his mother and gave him a good talking to. Hey, nice. More scouts researched. Okay, uh... Generator range upgrade or generator power upgrade? Uh... Range? Power. I don't have enough wood. I have to wait till I get 20 wood. I should have 20 wood soon enough, though. Should have that pretty soon. Got the power. <sighs> 20 wood. There we go. Power upgrade. And now we're out of wood again. So this is still... The grow house is still inoperative because... Um, there's... That's too cold over here. No wood. Uh, what the fuck is this mech walking around? Uh, basically, it uh, it does a job of like an entire fucking person. So, pretty cool. So this is full on capacity here. But they really, they, I tell you what, they really try to fuck you with the Londoners, don't they? And the discontent. My hope was doing pretty good, and then it fucking tanked. They really try to fuck you with that, don't they? Oh, Tom. Uh, it does the work of like an entire crew. Is there a peepo freeze? Uh, you know what? I'm I'm certain there is. <laughs> I'm absolutely certain there is. Okay, so that let's put the automaton to gather coal. Uh, because we really need that. My generator looked different because I researched something. Is that it? My generator looks different. Things are better and Londoners still exist. That's kind of cool. Like the look of the generator changes as you go. That's neat. So it looks like things are like kind of looking okay. Kind of looking okay. How's the temperature looking? You know, hell or high water, I'm not, listen. Generator, I'm not turning this off. So if I were to turn off this generator for the consumption, if I were to turn that off, turn it off overdrive, would that fuck this up? The keeping the keeping the homes warm would that would that destroy that? You would lose that. This thing is gonna fucking explode. <laughs> this thing is gonna fucking explode though. Instantly frozen solid. Yeah, that thing is actually gonna fucking explode. I don't know, man. Exploding is worse. I don't know, guys. Might be in some trouble on that one. Giving her all she's got, Captain. Let's see, where's my medical shit? Spend some more uh, rations to heal people faster. Yeah, spend some rations to heal people faster. We got lots of rations. Cover them, bitches. Uh, is there a new law possible? Uh, there is a new law. Uh, purpose. Yeah, the reason we to make sure our goals and priorities for the day are, are clear. That seems like a free good thing. Yeah, let's do that. It seems like a literally like a free good thing. So begins the transition of a city into a garrison. Hang on. 
All blue, no red. And you've doomed them all. What is this one? Colge. <laughs> you know, Colge is a pretty good emote for this chat. It's a pretty good one right now. <laughs> Got a lot of workers. Um So this thing is already at 60% on overdrive and this thing is only going to last till a, a, da a day and eight hours so if i don't do that like essentially i've put myself in an unwinnable position like, there's no way i can win that one i think that one ain't gonna win who is the one homeless dude uh you know i may i i should probably just build the one last tent right The Kobayashi Maru. There's no so snow parch. Research faster and it will help. These stupid amputees. Clip it. <laughs> I mean, they're all researching. Um, things are getting kind of bad. I don't think I can have the generator explode. Yeah, research has stopped because we all have to go to bed at night, apparently. I don't, I didn't research the 24 hour shift. Uh, I think, you know, there's like, I like how there's no I discontent here. My legs for this cause. Is that not enough? My stomach aches from hunger. I haven't had a nookie in years, only soup. Not food, by the way. <laughs> Gutierrez, age six, died on his way back to London because his current city only served chili soup. I mean, I gotta turn this off, right? I have to turn this off. Uh, coal supplies are extremely low. I think I have to turn this off. 86%. Hope falls, discontent rises. Bro! You have two days to raise hope. And we were all gonna die. It's just because you guys are a little cold. I'm doing my fucking best here, man. I had no choice. It was either that or the generator was going to fucking explode. Boy, this, uh, wow, it's going to get even colder than this. Holy shit, man. Uh, yeah, you know, I think, um, I think we're in trouble. I think we're in some trouble here, guys. I think we're not, uh, Things are not looking awesome. Yeah, it's not looking good. It's really not. Yeah. Maybe the research will help. Uh, Shusuke, thanks for the bits. Appreciate that. Maybe the research no will help. Soup or riot. This game is bleak. Uh, it's, it's a tough game. 
seems difficult. I, I know I already have two workshops. I have two of them. I wonder like if I like lose what I should have like done differently, you know? Okay, generator heat zones, uh, temperature and heat zones rises by one level. So wait, did that, um... But I have to do that. I have to, I have to do that though, right? Oh, are we already there? Oh, we're already doing it. Oh, so that actually, that really, dude, I should have done that forever ago. I should have did that like a million years ago. <laughs> I literally should have done that like a billion years ago. That helps like a lot. So that just raised temperatures everywhere. That just raised temperatures everywhere. Started. That's pretty good. Who needs heat? Uh, now what else can I do? There's gotta be something else I can do to like right the ship, right? Hang on, we can do a new research. Power upgrade, range upgrade. Who needs coal? What's my coal at? Coal's not great. Uh, we have a lot of idols. Um, we should probably build another coal thing. Build that coal thing right there. Build the coal mine. Yeah, coal mines would be good too. Um, the coal consumption is just going up and up and up and up and up for sure. The warmth definitely helps a bit. I have to raise hope to 15% uh, or else. Start the research. Right, right. What are we researching? Um... Bunk house, hot house. I guess the range. I can't afford it. I can't afford a lot of stuff right now. Hmm, I don't know, man. Things are a bit grim at the moment. Town, This town's finished. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Looking pretty bad. Need a level two on the generator. Uh, yeah, it's on level two right now. Uh, I think I'm burning through coal faster than I'm like gaining it right now. Like we're really burning through coal right now. Yeah, the steel work is off. Yeah, but. Okay, I don't really need wood right now. Can you guys, I wish I could tell, can you guys get to work on this coal thumper? Cause I need coal like really badly. Eesh, come to London. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna help you in London. All right, we got a new law. A foreman, efficiency law, another one can be passed, increases the efficiency of a workplace by 40% for 24 hours. A guard station. This is going to make people more discontent. All right, let's build guard stations, I guess. <laughs> That's going to piss people off. Um... Uh, apparently, I need steel for guard stations. Fuck. Yeah. I think everything is falling apart. 
think it's... Oi, oi, lads, come with me to London where we have real food, not soup. We're out of coal! The generator's shutting down! <laughs> uh... Dude, how? Did people stop working or something? Everybody's going home to work? Everybody's going home like, ah, oh, it was a hard day at work. Get some fucking coal! I can't do anything. I think I can't do anything. That's why we have emergency shifts. Yeah, I think I can't do anything. Uh, well, I, I hope you guys are ready for a cold evening. Hope you guys are ready for a nice and cold evening, guys. You know, like, you'd think they would, like, come to that conclusion themselves. Uh, well, you know, maybe the automaton... What's the automaton doing? No, go off of this and you go there. Maybe the automaton will help here or something. I don't know. Automaton is just leaving. Yeah. Yeah. Officer Grunkier, the child levers are becoming restless. We exile them to the wilderness to meet their cult of mice. Kids these days don't want to work spoiled. Soup is food. The colder the better. Well, we turned on the generator and it immediately shut down. <laughs> 29 years. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, Muzao, thank you for 29 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Corso, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Well, I hope you guys get your booties on because it's cold out there today. It's going to be cold out there, guys. It'll be a cold evening. Evacuate to London. Well, I think the reality is that uh, them going to London is them basically committing suicide, right? So, pretty sure that's the situation. You're good for a first run. I think that's them literally committing suicide. They just don't know it. And if you do, damn you don't, right. London is slightly better than suicide. Yeah, I'll start the generator again. I've got the robot working it. Let's see if that does something. You must construct additional pylons. Well, if we do like lose, I do feel like we uh, we learned a lot, and uh, if we did have to go again, we'd be uh, in a much better position this time. Um, yeah. The wall drill for wood. Hmm. Yeah, hypothetically, I would die, dude. I would totally play this again. All right, go ahead, research that. How can they say there is no soup? Soup flakes fall from the sky every day. Are they too good for cold soup? Bunkhouse? Uh, yeah, bunkhouses would probably to help London too, right? That would help people keep keep people warm, right? Um You know, 24 hour shift might have made people pissed off, but it probably would have helped us stay a little, a little bit more alive too. 
I mean, let's see. I'm going to try to keep going. Yeah, there's a lot of Londoners now. I don't know when this timer runs out, but... So we're about to run out of coal again. Bro, can you guys get to work? It's 7 p. It's 7 a.m. Everybody's fucking freezing to death. Go to work. What's the matter with you guys? Uh, you know, uh, uh, what's going on on today's show today? Get to fucking work, man. We're all dying. Literally dying and freezing to death. Be like, yeah, eh, I don't feel like going to work. Order, people. Let's march to work. I am sleepy from soup. Can we now get some fucking coal already? Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God, dude. There's nobody, there's no point in even having you guys here. You guys get to work there. We turn the generator back on by any chance? My goodness. It's got no people and the storage limits reached anyway. I mean, it doesn't matter because yeah. we got that. All right, so they're all, hang on, let's look at all my coal thumpers here. I'm trying to muster up the strength to work. The morning soup is also cool and not very satisfying. It's just broth at this point. This coal deposits out here. My soup isn't very satisfying. Get the fucking work. <laughs> yes, sir. And Tropic, thank you for the bits. Shusuke, thanks for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Scouts have reached winter home. Okay, what do you got? Climb though, we stood there speechless staring at the steam of devastation in the city of the dead. Most of the buildings destroyed and the generator has exploded. Uh, may they rest in peace. All right, rip, in other words, fucking rip bozo. Uh, coal mine, go to the coal mine. You're not gonna be able to save me, are you? <laughs> fucking rip bozos. Here, get these people, like, medical post is, it's an operative because it's too cold. Why is it too cold? Oh. Peter is off. True rations. We got plenty of rations. From rations, get them better. All right, coal, the amount of coal is rising, so that's good. Yeah. Should I build another coal thumper right now? Or a coal mine or something? I should build another one, like, immediately. We wouldn't be in this position if Granda Joe would get out of bed. Lazy fucker. Uh, hang on. Turn off the automaton. Put the automaton here, and get get these children getting some fucking coal already. Uh, Fox die. Thank for the five hundred bits. Thank you, Fox die. Appreciate it. Get these kid. Get these kids. Get some fucking coal. Get off your asses. Get out there. This is usually the office has a pizza party. I got fucking five engineers sitting in this office and there's nobody fucking there. Yeah. This game has made me hate engineers. Work. Some of you may die, but that is a risk I am willing to take. I'm a civil engineer, that's accurate. Boomer Barb coming out. 
Sausage Jones, thanks for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. All right. Amount of coal is rising. Amount of coal is rising. That's good. We're going to start getting steel out. We're not researching anything. Is there anything I could research right now? Power and range. Resources. Heat up uh, the char up 70 wood per standard workday producing. So this turns 210, uh, 70 wood into 210 coal. That's pretty good. We already have the range. We have the range already upgraded. Yeah, hope is bad. What do you want from me? <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. Uh, is this the, the wall drill is how you get wood? I can't afford it anyway. I don't think I can afford anything. I can build guard stations. Uh, let's go build that guard station there. And uh, it costs 10 steel, so we need more. Did that really end the fucking work day? Are you serious? I can't heat the homes. Literally can't. Please, sir. Well, everybody wants me to do the fucking impossible is what people want. Hey, do the impossible. I'm doing the best I fucking can. Empty promises. Hey, sir, please do the impossible. Congrats, your government now. Barb Korea. I didn't, you're like, I made the ice age. <laughs> I don't think it was me, asshole. Uh, yeah, there's apparently it's going to get even colder. Apparently it's going to, we're going to drive off the cold cliff here. <laughs> hot, it's always hot in here. It's okay. Oh, it's fine. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. How to create a military. There is no military state. 50 gift subs to warm things up a bit. I can barely, I would love to turn this on this. It would help so much. I can't though. So, oh, okay. So that lowers my heat consumption a bit. I don't know if that even really changes anything. Honestly, we can just lower my some heat's better than none just do overdrive heat yeah that's just oh you mean just do this yeah wow that we erased fatalism or cynicism when it comes to human affairs we choose to work for the world as it should be as our children deserve it to be even our children are ready to work that helped a lot work for soup and then fight that got rid of all the discontent if i could get another guard station that would really help um i don't have enough steel though i need steel um yeah. need six more steel for another guard station bro if i take the automaton off of this though we're gonna Listen freeze up. we got a problem a lot of you are skipping lunch like it doesn't matter i can't do anything well, this year we take I, can't, a lunch, I, I have to keep a if i don't do that lunch, it's gonna get even worse one with chunky soup lunch time is your hack time brought to you by campbell's soup <laughs> for god thank you for the 500 bits <laughs> the fuck are you talking about um Well, guys, hearty lunch. It's over. Come tomorrow. Hope is too late. Does that mean the is, is it game over when that happens? Is it game over? I think the layout absolutely matters. Yeah, because you have to plan out where you put your steam hubs and shit. Yeah, your layout absolutely matters. Mm -hmm. Um...
Send a watchman to remove it. Hope falls. Great. <laughs> Great. We really needed that. Is each run random? I wonder if things will, uh, if I, if I die, if the, if it's game over, I think we're going to find out pretty soon if it's game over or not. Uh, what is this? All right. What is this emote? What is this emote? Soup time. <laughs> All right. I've added soup time. So now you can do colge and soup time. <laughs> A scenario where it's not random. I saw that there was like an endless mode. Yeah. Yeah. Being close to the generator definitely matters for sure. You know, maybe like, maybe the first thing I should have we should have researched was the um, the bunk houses because they are better. Uh, they are better for warmth. Maybe that was like the first thing I should have done. What does a giant metal spider do? The giant metal spider takes over the entire like work for one thing. 40 months, but all I want is soup. We're in overdrive right now. That's probably helping a little bit. Everybody's still, everybody's still faffing about. Nobody's going to work. It's fucking 7 a.m. in the morning in the frozen apocalypse. Apparently, we still have. Uh, we well, but I, I, the boss earns a dollar. I earn a, I earn a dime. No, That's why I eat soup on company time. Get the fucking houses. work, you lazy bitches. The Get the fuck to work. 7 a.m. Freezing to death. Uh, I'm going in at 8 a.m. I'm not going to rush. Do a stay in bed. It's cold outside. You're a mailman. <laughs> Is that like me? Did they kick me out? They banished me? <laughs> a band of grim men escorts you to the generator uh the crowd is silent. people observe as you pass their face is blank as though they're watching snowfall you are summarily judged and spared the death sentence recognition of your efforts you yeah. are banished from the city instead i did my best <laughs> fuck you you fuck suck yeah, these I people apocalypses and i still need to work fuck you, you. suck yeah jackass <laughs> Kick me out. They didn't kill me. No, you didn't. You fed us soup. <laughs> this game is awesome. This game is fucking awesome, dude. It's so good. <laughs> I love this game. You Un suck. I know. Yeah, ungrateful. It was good soup. Good soup. I've seen chat reproduced so faithfully in a video game. <laughs> I wanted chicken nuggets. We tried to tell you soup wasn't a meal. Yeah. You suck. Soup. You jackass. Soup is a meal. Soup is a meal. Thor God, thank you for the 500 bits. Barbasaurus Rex, thank you for the Pizza 31 months. The morning. Thank Pizza you very much. Evening. Appreciate Pizza that. at supper time. <laughs> when pizza's in soup form, you can eat pizza anytime. There's a teaser trailer for the sequel on YouTube. Saw the soup is soup is food. Uh, Barbasaurus Rex, thank you for 31 months. Thorgot, no for thank you, you for the resub. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, they, they, the city banished me. They said that you sucked so bad, you're banished. And banishment is essentially death. They essentially killed me. Can I get a big salad? Oh, we can't have soup. We're special peasants. We can't. I also can't work at fucking midnight or overnight when my life or death depends on it. No, we can't do that. Fuck you. You guys deserve to fucking die. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Barbasaurus. Thank you, X, for the 58 months. Appreciate that. Now you're the pre the peasant. I got, yeah, I lost. That was it. That was it. I feel like I did, like, pretty well. I was doing pretty good for a long time. It was a good long run. Did pretty decent. Just wasn't enough. Well, fuck you, too. Yeah, I think I did pretty well. I think it was just, uh, 
it was like a lot of little things that eventually became became a big thing you know what i mean it wasn't like uh i i we figured out a lot we figured out a lot for sure yeah i've never played or seen this game ever right it's like all the little mistakes over time added up to like a like big mistakes